more games remain on the schedule for the Miami Heat, and this is the final week of the NBA regular season. Miami gets it underway in Atlanta with a game against the Hawks. It is actually the final road game Miami plays in the regular season with three games at the Kasaya Center to wrap up the 23-24 NBA regular season. I am Nick Roloff. This is a Heat versus Hawks watch party, and... Uh, this should be interesting. I'll tell you what, after Sunday's defeat against the Indiana Pacers, it left me in a very dark spot when it came to the Miami Heat. I'm just going to be blatantly honest with you guys. I was very low. I mean, in terms of low, like my hopes for the season, the hopes for the future, I am concerned. Um, but I've decided to find the guts and just live with the results of this squad that we currently have. And the Heat need to go 4-0, in my opinion, to at least guarantee the seventh seed. So they're hosting Philadelphia at worst in the first play in game. If they go 4-0, maybe I get some confidence heading into the postseason. Hawks, Mavericks, two games against Toronto are those four games. As we have more people pile in to the chat, shout out your city for me. And even though I am a little down on Miami right now, we're still here for a watch party. I'm still going to bring the energy. So hopefully you guys bring that juice as well. As you see my comment in the chat, if you watched yesterday's video I put out around the latest surrounding Miami, including Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero, Terry Rozier, the NBA standings, you would have saw a five-man lineup that I, was, uh, I said would be intrigued to start and close games with. Well, that lineup at the end of yesterday's video is actually the starting lineup for tonight's game with Duncan Robinson and Terry Rozier out. So, just saying, keep your eye out there. Keep your eye out there. Continue to shout out your city for me down in the comment section. Reaper says, Nick, I still have faith for the sixth seed. DeAndre says, Utica, New York, but currently reside in Charlotte, North Carolina. DeAndre, I don't know if you know this. But I am from Rochester, New York originally. That's where I grew up and spent the first 18 years of my life before going to college at St. Bonaventure University and then moving down to Dallas, Texas for this job right after I graduated college. But that is pretty close to where I am or was at, I should say. Jimmy Butler says currently in Atlanta, though. Well, can you give me some good juju today? Can you give me some good juju? Ohio for Time and the Buckeye. Joe Lawton in England. Reaper says, do you think we have a chance for the sixth seed? Is there a chance? Sure. But uh, it's very unlikely. I see that Reaper saying that the Raptors are up early on the Pacers. The Pacers would have to go 1-2 and two in their final three games. Miami would have to go 4-0. and oh. Maybe it's possible. Maybe it is. I don't know. But the Pacers' final three games... They play the Cavs, the Raptors, and the Hawks. They have to go 1-2 and two at best, and Miami has to go 4-0. and oh. I will say this. If Miami beats the Hawks today and the Pacers lose to the Raptors, they are down 15-4 to four, about five minutes into that game. A lot of time left, though, so don't get your hopes up. That means they would have to go 1-1, one and one, and Miami finishes 3-0 and oh, to best the Pacers for the sixth spot. So it, it's not... It's not crazy to say that it's impossible, but you're going to need the Cavs who are hosting the Pacers on Friday at home to win that game. You need the Cavs to beat the Pacers on Friday at home, and then you need one of the Hawks and Raptors to get the upset against Toronto. Um, we'll see. It, it, it maybe is possible. It is possible. But then you'd have to have Miami go 4-0, and and do we trust the Heat to do that? I don't know, Jim. I don't know. DeAndre knows St. Bonaventure. That's electric. Says much more of a Syracuse guy. Most people are. Um, but, yeah, that's where I went to college. That's where I was for four years. Allegheny, New York. Shout out to DeAndre Moore, though. It's all love, my friend. Appreciate you coming in, being a subscriber, and commenting early in our live show. Riley Shea is in the building. Oh, Reaper. What's up? What's up? What's up? Wazowski. Little Michael Wazowski action in the crib. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, man. Ah, I already got my coffee here. No Celsius today, just going coffee. Just going coffee like I was on Sunday as well. I love coffee. I don't know about you guys. I'm a coffee guy. 
I know some people don't do it. I'm actually becoming a black coffee guy, too. I'm not even putting any sugar or cream in it, too. I'm going full, full dad on a weekend at their son's baseball game. That's where I'm at right now. Get started today with Factor Meals. Oh, you can get 50% off when you head to factormeals.com slash heatchat50 and use code heatchat50. It's the number one ready to eat meal delivery kit. And why you should get started today? Well, let me tell you, because it's eating delicious, ready to eat meals that are fresh, never frozen, chef crafted and dietitian approved, ready to go in just two minutes. There's over 35 different options to choose from every week, including calorie smart options, protein plus, keto. There's also more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. Don't wait any longer. Get started today and get after your goals. Sign up and save. Factor has done the math. It is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. So head to factormeals.com slash heatchat50 and use code heatchat50 to get 50% off. That's code heatchat50 at factormeals.com slash heatchat50. Link is in the live chat and description of today's live show. We're also sponsored by Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app and platform in North America. And as the college basketball season concluded on Sunday and Monday, respectively for women's and men's, we turn our attention to the postseason in both hockey and NBA. The biggest moments in sports are starting to take place. So get started today with the number one daily fantasy sports app who are offering a first deposit match up to $100. My picks for tonight's game are as followed. I'll take the more than on Nikola Jovic, 7.5 points. I will always ride with my sweet prince who just absolutely displayed his upside on Sunday against the Indiana Pacers. I'll take the more than on Garrison Matthews, who is a Miami Heat killer, six and a half points. If you don't think he's getting more than six and a half, you have not watched him play Miami in the past when he was with the Washington Wizards. And I'll also take the more than on DeJounte Murray, 35 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. It's the DeJounte Murray show in Atlanta with no Trey Young and some other key players injured. I expect a big game from the Hawks point guard. You can take picks like these, rapper Meek Mill, comedian Andrew Schultz, and others at Prize Picks when you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS or just download the app today in your local app store and use code CLNS. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. 17 minutes away from getting underway in the ATL. Who do you got in this game? If you think Miami pulls off the road win, type the MIAs. If you're riding with DeJounte Murray and the Hawks, let me know by spamming those ATLs. Planty rocking with Miami. Daniel Miami. Wazowski rocking with the 305 team. Miami Heat. Let me know who you're going with. Wasteland says, let's go Heat. Let's go Heat indeed. Reaper. Going Miami wins 127 to 103. That would be quite the win, I'll tell you what. Tell you what, that'd be quite the win. Jay the Fox says, Nick, who do you want Miami to draft this year? Hopefully no one, and that 2024 first-round pick is dealt to some other team for either a star player or a veteran player that will help this team reach new levels. But if you're asking me what my favorite draft prospect is, which – is a valid question. My favorite player in this draft class, and it's not who I think is going to be the best, but it is my favorite player to watch and who I think would have a no doubt good career in the NBA is Dalton Connect, the 22-year-old out of Tennessee. He was just fantastic for the Volunteers, averaging 20 points per game. He's a sharp shooter. I would say he's the best volume shooter in this draft. And I expect him to go in the top 10, but if there's some other godly reason that he falls out of the lottery to where Miami's going to be picking, likely between 15 and 18 once again, I would be all in on Dalton Connect coming to Miami. A couple other guys that I think fit the Heat very well, I would look towards the guard position as the Heat do need to find a long-term answer at point guard or just a good, solid, true point guard off the bench for Terry Rozier slash Tyler Hero. Jared McCain from Duke, the talented freshman. He can really shoot the rock. But if you want to go more high upside in youth, Isaiah Collier, the USC guard, who was actually the projected number one pick coming into this year at the college level, did not play that well for the USC Trojans, but the athletic 
profile is there, the upside is there, as it's all about if he gets into the right system. And we know Miami has a good history of developing draft picks, so I would like Collier. But I also don't despise going the wing route because you're likely going to lose Caleb Martin and or Haywood Highsmith in the offseason as Caleb Martin has a player option. Haywood Highsmith is a restricted free agent. And if Miami keeps Hero, Jimmy, Bam, and Rozier on the team, they are going to be very hard-pressed to be able to match any contract that Caleb Martin receives or Highsmith receives in free agency, which means you're likely going to have a missing spot off the bench from that wing position. And although you would have Jaime Jaquez, you'd probably want another wing, so maybe go a little Johnny Furphy from Kansas, who's a really good shooter. Maybe you want to go more the experience route. You could also stay in Kansas with Kevin McCuller Jr. The Heat are going to have a lot of options. But like I said, I hope that they end up trading the pick so they can draft or get a experienced veteran or a star player in the offseason. So Jay the Fox, I hope that answer um, satisfied your question because I just spoke, I think, for three minutes about some of the draft prospects I like. I am a very draft-centric guy. I spearhead and lead our NBA draft coverage here at Chat Sports, so I've already done a lot of research on this draft class, so I talk about them a lot. I know them a lot, so I actually do have a pretty good knowledge base of this draft class. A lot of people don't like it, say it's one of the weakest draft classes in history. Um, I don't disagree with that fact, but I think you're going to find a lot of good players in this draft. I don't know if the top end talent is there to where you're going to have um, Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball, Victor Wembanyama's coming out of these draft classes, but I think you will find very, very good role players and above average players in this draft class. I think it's very deep in that retrospect, but no big time stars that you're going to be looking back in like three or four years and saying, wow, that draft class was really, really elite. Oh, DeAndre, that's that's the good. That's my goal. That's my goal. That's my goal. Supercard type in MIA time and scenes. Type in those MIAs. Paris Chick Vantage. Steve Gabriel. Joe Lawton. Maya's World. What's up, my friends? Tommy Miller. I'll type in those MIAs in the live chat. Shout out to you guys. Today's Super Chat menu is as follows. Any Super Chat gets on the show. A $10 Super Chat gets a raffle ticket for our D, or excuse me, Bam and a Bio laser printed autograph jersey. $20 gets onto the Miami Heat Report Hall of Fame, which gets your name on this Heat basketball. Become a real one. We recognize you in the chat as a Hall of Famer and legend every time you step into the building. $50 for a beer bong. And then today's Roly Deal of the Day, we do this once a month, and I decided I wanted to turn the vibes around of Heat Nation by offering this deal today. And that is the two-for-one raffle special, which means every $10 Super Chat, it usually is just one raffle ticket for the Bam Adebayo laser-printed autograph jersey. Today, a $10 Super Chat gets you two raffle tickets up close and personal pick as the jersey has not gotten to the studio yet this is it black you see the auto bio you see the signature on there really cool item that at the end of the month we will raffle off to a heat report viewer who got into the raffle entry so you got all month to do so but only today in the month of april are we going to offer a two for one where you get two raffle tickets for a ten dollar super chat let's see if anyone bites on that and gets today's Super Chat Party started. One way to get the party started is by hitting that thumbs up icon. If we get to 50 likes before tip, we open up the tequila and take a shot. We're at 30 likes right now, 75 people watching. Can we get to 50 likes before we tip off in 11 minutes? I think we should be able to very easily, so prove me right by hitting that thumbs up icon. Ooh, Wasteland says he liked it. Did y'all like it? That's a good question. That's a good question. Gaributo says Hawks are frisky. They certainly are. They certainly are. They've taken two games over the last couple weeks against the uh, Boston Celtics. Just 
scroll on Twitter, seeing what we got here. Don't see anything crazy going on before the game. Starting lineup for Miami today is as follows. Tyler Hero back into the starting lineup. Caleb Martin into the starting lineup as well as both Duncan Robinson and Terry Rozier are out for tonight's game. And then you have the front court of Jimmy Bam and Nikola Jovic that has been in that front court for the past month or so. If you watched yesterday's Heat video, I talked about a Heat closing lineup that I think Miami will go to more often, and I wouldn't hate being the starting lineup going forward. It was that exact five-man group. So I'm excited to see what that team and group of five guys can really bring to the table for Miami. As I think it is one of the best lineups Miami can run. Caleb has been playing good ball. Tyler Hero's back, making some big shots. And then obviously Jimmy Bam and Jovic have had a lot of chemistry this season that has netted positive things for Miami. So I'm excited to see how that shows out for the Miami Heat. Little score update. The Raptors up 31-23 with a minute and a half to go in the first quarter over the Pacers. Um, also, I guess the Sixers are playing today. They're beating the Pistons 18-11. to But I wouldn't worry about the Sixers winning and losing right now because as long as Miami goes 4-0 in the final week, which they honestly should against the Raptors twice, the Hawks, and then they play the Mavericks tomorrow, but a little birdie told me that if the Mavs win tonight, they kind of lock up their playoff position a little bit, so they might rest their starters against Miami tomorrow, which would obviously make it a much easier game for the Heat. So 4-0 week is very much on the table. You go 4-0, you're guaranteed the seventh seed at worst and at bare minimum hosting the first play-in game against the Philadelphia 76ers, but at best, maybe the Pacers get upset by the Hawks or Raptors, and then lose to the Cavs on Friday, and then you get the sixth seed. So just go 4-0 this week and see how the chips fall. That's kind of how I feel. Control the things that you can control and let everything fall into place. You can apply that into your overall life as well. That's kind of what I've tried to do in my own mindset, if we're going to be honest. Control what I control and let everything else happen. And that's how I would tell the advice to the Miami Heat. Go 4-0 and see what happens. See what happens. Aaron says, good news, Duncan is out. I know that I've been critical of Duncan Robinson over the past week and a half, but I wouldn't say it's a good thing that he's not able to play for Miami. Um, he, he could use him, that's for sure, and use him at his best ability, by the way. Um, but it was clear that that back injury was clearly hindering him more than it let on. He probably shouldn't have came back when he did. So hopefully he'll be out not for too long, and be able to return and be fully healthy for Miami when he does return from that back injury. Five likes away from 50. Hit that thumbs up icon, folks. We get to 50 likes before tip. We're taking a shot of tequila. We're taking a shot of tequila. We are in the pregame. Heat Hawks, the final game that Miami will play away from the Kasaya Center until the NBA playoffs. So how about that? Let me know who needs to step up tonight for Miami. After that tough game on Sunday against the Pacers, um, you could say a lot of people need to step up for the Heat today. I am going to go with, I'm going to go, who needs to step up? How about Jaime Jaquez Jr., the rookie off the bench? Caleb Martin inserted the starting lineup because Duncan Robinson's out. Hero also starting for Terry Rozier. I think Jaime, now that he is the primary wing coming off the bench after it would usually be Caleb Martin, but now that he's starting, I think it's Triple J. Jaquez needs to provide the energy, defense, and a little bit of floor spacing and shooting for Miami as that first guy off the bench. That's kind of how I view tonight. Monteka saying Nikola Jovic. Listen, a little Nikola Jovic masterclass wouldn't hurt nobody. Or hurt nobody. Wasteland says Butler. DeAndre says Jaime and Highsmith. Jovic says, I don't know if I could say, I'll say, my Mexican king better lock in. Scene says, love and high Smith. AV says, Jovic double double. That would be ideal, especially since I took the more than on seven and a half points for Nikola Jovic tonight with prize picks. 120 people watching in our pregame. Make sure, hit that thumbs up icon. It's like taking your shoes off when you get to your friends or family's house. It's the first thing you should do. 
and we get to 50 likes to take a shot to Kilo to celebrate him 50 likes. Come on, folks. Come on. Yo, which legacy game, says Daniel. Legacy game? I don't know. I don't know. I would like it. National Anthem getting underway in Atlanta, so we're very close. All right, we got 50 likes. Let's ride. Let's ride, folks. AV says, I'm in ATL right now. Are you at the game, AV? Oh, man. I don't know if I told you guys this, but we're actually... Chat Sports has entered a work basketball league for this spring slash summer. Every Monday night we're playing. Um, but don't worry if the Heat play in, on Mondays in the postseason. We are going to prioritize the watch parties, and I'll just miss the intramural games. But, or rec games, they call them when you're older, intramural college. But I'm pretty excited, man. I am pretty, pretty excited to play um, organized semi-competitive basketball again. Like, I don't know how competitive this league is going to be. Hopefully, it's pretty competitive. People want to try and want to care as well as good equal competition. But I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited. AV is at the game. That's kind of lit. That's kind of lit. I went to one heat game this year when Miami came to Dallas and took on the Mavericks. Um, but that game didn't go so well for Miami. They got up to a really hot start and then blew it in the second half. DeAndre says, Terramana? Is that, I've, is that tequila? I've never had Terramana. Does Blanco prefer it? I've never had it. I've only, I, I, I live in the Patron, the 1800. Um, it's kind of where I live in. What's up, Melvin? What's up, Melvin? We're almost underway. Who needs to step up the most tonight, folks? Also, who's ready for today's game? If you're ready for the game today, spam me. We also have one in 24 hours. Heat take on the Mavericks at home. Just 24 hours from now. Raptors up 10 on the Pacers as we open up the second quarter. Just keep your eye out over there. Just keep your eye out. Yeah, Planty, it's going to be tough against the Mavericks tomorrow, but a little birdie told me that if the Mavs win today, they might rest Luka tomorrow. And they're up 18 on the Hornets right now. So there is a legit chance that Miami plays the Mavericks without Luka Doncic tomorrow, which would obviously make that a much more favorable game for Miami as they need to go 4-0 in the final four games to either try to get a sixth seed and hope that Indiana falters or lock up that seventh spot so they can host the play-in game against Philly rather than having to go into the 76ers arena at as well as Fargo. Melvin's ready. Ron Baker's ready. Aaron's ready. DeAndre's ready. Garabuto seems to be ready. Hot dog. Hot dog's going to that game tomorrow. That's sick. Let's go. Let's go. Enjoy, your, enjoy yourself. Gene Paul is ready. Clancy is ready. Let's hope Miami can bounce back with a win today. Starting lineup for Atlanta, DeJounte Murray, Bogdan Bogdanovich, DeAndre Hunter, Jalen Johnson, and Clint Capella. Miami starting Tyler Hero, Caleb Martin, Jimmy Butler, Nikola Jovic, and Bam. Add a bye, yo. Let's go, folks. Heat rocking their white unis on the road. Hawks wearing their yet to see. Black uni, black uni for the Hawks. All right, we're ready to get underway in Atlanta. 
wonder if Quavo's at this game. Probably not. Probably not. But we'll see. As we are about to get underway, who you got in this game? MIA for the Heat, ATL for the Hawks. Feels like I'm going to nail this uh, count on the tip. Uh, maybe a little bit early. Uh, Terry Rozier is not playing. I don't know if you could classify as rest. You can maybe say caution as he is out with neck soreness. He had, was a game-time decision for today's game. Was also a game-time decision for the game on Sunday. He said that he ultimately probably should not have played. He did play on Sunday. Did not play basically the entire fourth quarter. So uh, kind of learning from his mistakes that was on Sunday. Scenes is type an MIA, little Vince. Edward, Reaper, let's go, folks. Let's frickin' go, folks. All right, bam, and Clint Capella will be in center circle. 170 people watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up icon. Jump ball is up. It's won by the Hawks, but Caleb Martin grabs the – so I guess it's won by Miami. Oh, that works. Like, Clint Capella won the jump, but Clint, or Caleb Martin stole the ball, like, before the Hawks grabbed it. So I guess Miami wins it. Hero swings it over to Butler, first possession. Now back over to Caleb. Caleb hands off to Jimmy. Jimmy driving on Hunter, gets to the rim, hangs, comes up short on the floater, so Butler misses his first shot of the game. DeJounte Murray out and running for Atlanta. Crossing over on Bam. Mid-range shot is too strong. Hero with the board after a good box out from Jovic. And the Heat get a stop on their first defensive possession. Butler hands it off to Hero. Hero coming down the lane. Stopping. Finding Bam at the free throw line. Back to Tyler. Tyler probing. Elbow. Stops. Jumper is true as Tyler Hero gets tonight's game. Scoring started. With a nice little mid-range shot. He's looked good in his first two games back from injury, and he gets tonight's game. Good start up and going. DeAndre Hunter coming off of a screen. Met by Adebayo, now hero. They get inside the Capella. Capella double-teamed. Caleb Martin forces a turnover. Good defense from Caleb. Heat out and running. Drop off to Bam. Bam backing down on Capella now on the left block. Drives by him on the baseline. Out to Martin. Corner three for Caleb. Can't fall. And DeJounte Murray comes away with the board. Caleb Martin. I, I like him being back in the starting line, if i got to be honest. Jalen Johnson trailing three. Good. And the Hawks jump out to a 3-2 lead. Jalen Johnson, the second-year man, man out of Duke, has just been fantastic. He, he is really starting to play good ball for Atlanta. Butler inside. Kicked out to... Jovic swung to Martin in the corner. Caleb driving on Bogdanovich out to Bam. Bam's going to launch a corner three. And he splashes it home. Adebayo went one for three, I believe, from three on Sunday. He knocks down his first attempt there from the corner. Proving to people he can shoot. DeJounte Murray turns it over as he looks for Bogdanovich. Good job by Miami to make that an uncomfortable pass. And he throws it out of bounds. How about Bam? No hesitation. Nothing but net triple from the corner. Chris, no. Trey Young is out for the Hawks tonight. Butler swings it over to Hero. Hero driving. Kicking out to Jovic. He'll launch a left wing three. And he knocks it down. Back-to-back -back threes by Miami. Gives them a five-point lead. Jovic with three points. Bam with three. Hero with the other two. Good offensive start for Miami. Honestly, good start on both ends of the floor for the Heat. Bogdanovich in the corner, driving on Hero, gets to the rim and lays it up and in. The Hero's got to be better than that. Hero has just not been good defensively in his three games back so far. And that's been the main topic of Heat Twitter, right? Can Hero be that guy for the Heat? Yes, he is a good offensive player, but he's got to be better on the defensive side. Hero looking to get it back with a triple. He does! A nice answer from Tyler gives Miami a six-point lead. He's now up to five points in this ballgame. Three of four start for Miami from beyond the arc. Bogdanovich triple over Tyler. Good contest there from 14. Gets a stop. Here comes Miami. Butler to Caleb. Caleb pump fake driving. Gets to the rim. Misses the layup. And Clint Capella gets the defensive rebound.
Murray marked by Jovic on the other end. Swings it to Jalen Johnson. Johnson defended by Bam. Johnson into Capella. Pushed by Hero. And it will be a foul on Tyler with 8.15 to go in the first quarter. B-Ball says, are we playing defense today? It's been a better start for Miami defensively, that's for sure. That's for sure. Only bad defensive possession thus far is Hero getting beat baseline off dribble by Bogdanovich. But the one triple the Hawks hit was in trail position. I don't hate that. They haven't been destroyed so far. Hunter driving on Butler, stopping, rising at the elbow, and connecting on his first shot of the night. Fourth pick in the 2019 draft. Same draft as Tyler Hero out of Virginia. Butler and Bam pick and roll. Butler drives on Capella, kicks out to Caleb Martin. It's deflected by DeJounte Murray. It'll be side out for Miami. 200 people watching already. If you haven't already, join the channel. Hit that sub button live for every Heat basketball game. Butler inbounds at the Hero. Right wing three for Tyler. And that's his first missed shot of the game as he started off 2-2 two two and had five points. Bogdanovich inside the Capella. Capella back out to Bogdanovich. Corner triple for him. Can't fall. Rebound tipped. Got by Bam. Outlet to Butler. Jimmy pump fake layup is good. Defense leading to offense there by Miami. Good job by Bam to corral the rebound and get his head up quickly to find the streaking Butler. I didn't think that was the best defense by Miami, letting the best shooter on Atlanta get an open three, but they got lucky. Bogdanovich will try another. He'll miss another. Offensive rebound, Jalen Johnson. Put back, no good. Tipped out of bounds off Jimmy, so it will stay with Atlanta on the baseline. Seven minutes to go in the opening period. Butler got on the stat sheet for the first time there, and we're going to head to our first timeout of the game. Heat lead 13-7 after five minutes of play. Thought it's been a good start for Miami, both offensively and defensively, in a game that is must win. And listen, if we're going to be honest, I've labeled, I, I labeled the final two weeks of the season. The last eight games of the year for Miami, all is must win games. Not expecting them to win every game, but it's basically me saying must win means I need the energy of a playoff game. That's kind of how it felt to me. Obviously, they have they went two and two last week. Um, if they go four and zero here and go six and two, I mean that's a decent finish to the year. I'm not going to complain about it. It's just tough that the two losses in that eight game hypothetical stretch would have been against the Philly and Indiana. Which, if you told me they went six and two, I said, well, did they win Philly and Indiana at least? Because those are the two games that they needed to win, and uh, they lost them. So that's a tough look for Miami, uh, but it is what it is. 200 people watching as we are in our first time out of the game. I'll tell you guys about one of our sponsors on today's show. That is Factor Meals, the number one ready-to-eat meal delivery kit in America. And they are just offering a splendid deal for the Heat fans, which is, I hooked you all up, man. They're hooking you up, but I'm making sure you're getting that 50% by using code HEATCHAT50 at FactorMeals.com. Slash heat chat 50. Chef crafted, dietitian approved meals that take two minutes to heat up in the microwave and they're just ready to go. These meals are also delivered right to your door. So there's no prep, there's no mess. They're just ready to heat and eat. No cooking, cleaning up needed. It's awesome. It's also very flexible. Get as much as or as little as you need by ordering six to 18 meals per week. You can also pause or reschedule your deliveries at any time. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast premium options for your diet with no cooking required. So get started today by going to factormeals.com slash heatchat50 and using code heatchat50. That's code heatchat50 at factormeals.com slash heatchat50. Get started today. Link is in the live chat and description of today's live show. Woo! Who's going to get our super chat started today? Any super check gets on screen. $20 gets you into the Miami Heat Hall of Fame. Also, a $10 super chat usually gets you one raffle ticket for our autographed Bam at a Bio jersey. Today, and today only, a $10 super check gets you two raffle tickets. Two for one special is the rolly deal today. 
Duncan, congratulations, my friend. UConn back-to-back, -back, pure domination, the best college basketball team of all time in my eyes. Cool for you to be able to see that happen in person, just pure domination. Bogdanovich, mid-range jumper over hero. It falls. Bogdanovich, that, that was actually good defense from Tyler. Just a better shot by Bogdan. Jovic on the right wing, looking to facilitate now. Lobs it inside the butler. Jimmy fumbles the pass and then dribbles it back out to the perimeter where he drives. Drop off to Jovic, who lays it up and in. Nikola Jovic with five points on the game now. Two for two from the field. Woo! Man, Jovic is just getting better and better every single game. It's a pleasure to watch this young man grow and be an impact player for Miami. DeJounte Murray swings it over to Jalen Johnson. His bank shot, good. Jalen Johnson now, I believe, has five points. Five-star recruit, he's been fantastic. Hero gets a screen from Bam, doubled. Hero swings it back into Butler inside. Jimmy has good position and is fouled by DeAndre Hunter. Good ball movement by Miami there to find the open Jimmy underneath the rim. And Butler will take his first trip to the charity stripe in this ballgame. Hero is an underrated passer. I know a lot of people don't want to talk about it because they just want to talk about his lack of defense at times and his shot making. But he is a good passer, man. Good passer. Jimmy Butler's first free throw of the game is no good. Rattled in and out. Not ideal there. Raptors up seven on Indiana with four and a half to go in the first half. We'll scoreboard watch over there at times. Ruin hard for the Raptors. Butler makes the second free throw, so he lead up to five. Kevin Love in for Bam. Hawkes in for Hero. And Caleb Martin gets the steal. Good defense from Caleb. It's his second steal of the game. He kicks it over to Butler on the right wing. Swung to Kevin Love. Love inside the Butler. Butler fouled. Could not get the, the shot to fall, so Jimmy will head back to the free throw line. Terry Rozier is out tonight. Interesting five-man lineup for Miami right now. Kevin Love, Butler, Hawkes. Martin and Jovic, no true point guard for Miami. Very big in size. I guess you could say Jovic is your point guard here. Or Caleb, I don't know. I'd probably lean Jovic if you want to label someone as a guard, point guard. First free throw on this trip is made by Butler. Two for three on the game now. Excuse me. Makes the second, 18-11, largest lead of the game for Miami. Jimmy now five points on the game. DeJounte Murray has it, guarded by Caleb Martin. Gets a screen from Matthews and turns it over. Little uh, uncharacteristic sloppiness by Atlanta today. They just, they just haven't been... They have not been crisp with their offensive sets, but you can also label the Heat defense as a factor in that as well. Jovic, top of the key, swings it over to Love. Love, pump fake, picks up his dribble, turns it over as he tried to find Hakez on a back cut. Garrison Matthews in now for the Hawks. Murray gets a screen, driving on Hawkeyes, step back, elbow jumper for DeJounte is true. I think it's the first time DeJounte Murray scored tonight. He lives in the mid-range, that's for sure. Caleb Martin gets a screen. Gets it now to Butler. Butler fouled by Matthews. He, I don't think, are in the bonus. Love gets it to Jovic on the inbound. 
Over to Butler, right wing now. Jovic setting a screen. Butler doubled out to Jovic. Jovic driving on Hunter. Drop off pass to Martin. Layup no good. Rebound Kevin Love. Put back no good. Fought four on the glass. Gathered. Murray, pull up three over Butler, left short, got his own rebound. Layup is good on the second chance opportunity, 18-15 now. Would have liked Jovic to take that floater rather than passing it off. An answer by Miami, Jimmy Butler catches the alley-oop slam on a pass from Caleb Martin. Good two-man game between those two. Heat lead still at five. Oh, what a move inside. I'm kind of losing who this center is for. Is that Bruno Fernando for the Hawks? Good pass from DeJounte Murray on the assist. Butler to Caleb Martin turned over. And here comes Atlanta leading the break. Trailing DeAndre Hunter. Swung around to Murray now. Murray working on Jovic. DeJounte Murray driving, stopping, pump fake. Out to Hunter. Hunter. Back to Murray. Eight on the shot clock. Murray drives on Jovic. Good job by Nicola to stay home, and he forces the stop. Rebound by Butler. He's out and running. Jimmy will wait for the Heat to come back and join him. Swings it over to Jovic. Jovic drives on Murray. Euro step layup. Good! Um, I mean, I tell you what about Nikola Jovic. Seven first quarter points. Those long gallops to the rim just make it so difficult for undersized defenders to stop him. And then he's able to even use his length to disrupt some jumpers for guards like he did on the defensive possession prior on Murray. Rim attack by Hunter is true. He gets to the rim and scores. Butler is going to call for a screen, get it from Hawkes. Jimmy drives out to Love. Corner three, wide open for K-Love. No good. Rebound by Atlanta. Here comes DeJounte Murray. Murray, drop off to Fernando. Layup is good. 22-21, Eric Spolstra. We'll call timeout as the Hawks go on a little bit of a push here in the first quarter to make this a one-point game with 2.25 to go in the opening period. $10 super chat from Duncan. Appreciate you. 3P incoming. Calling out all the Heat fans who aren't fans of college ball. Become Husky fans. Hurricanes ain't shit. Definitely a bad game for the hur or bad season for the Hurricanes. I am a semi-fan of the Huskies. I'm not going to say I'm a diehard fan like Duncan, um, but I do root for the Huskies. I tell you what, Heat fans, if you are not happy with how Miami season has panned out, which at least to this point, it's been underwhelming and disappointing, there is one takeaway from the season that cannot be denied. It is the improvement and development of Nikola Jovic, because I don't think you can watch this season and say that he is not the future starting front court mate of Bam Adebayo. I mean, assuming Jovic is not traded for like a Donovan Mitchell or something like that in the offseason, I feel very confident saying that Jovic and Bam are going to be our front court duo and be an excellent duo at that 4-5 for the next five to seven years. I mean, Jovic has improved his shot. He has improved his defense. He has improved the ability to get to the rim and finish, especially with his left hand. He is actually very good at finishing with his left hand. Spam your fives. I love Nikola Jovic. He's arguably my favorite player on the team. I, I, a lot of people have asked me who's my favorite player. I've always said Bam because I respect and admire what he does on both ends of the floor for Miami and that he is the best defensive player in the NBA in my eyes. But with how much Nikola Jovic has improved this year, and you guys remember, if you are a real one, how much I said I adored Nikola Jovic's game in the offseason. I watched every summer league game for Miami. I even stayed up till 4 a.m. local time to watch Nikola Jovic and Team Serbia play Canada in the FIBA World Cup and then did the same thing when they played um, 
the U.S. in the championship game. I, I am a Jovic fanatic. I want nothing more than him to be a dynamic and cornerstone player for Miami. And, and I think watching this game, no, nothing has changed that for me. And season. I think he's going to be a cornerstone for Miami. It was Germany. That's right. I'm sorry. I forgot the United States got upset. Appreciate that, Mohamedou. Appreciate that. Jovic brings it up. Butler, Highsmith, Jovic, Kevin Love, and Hawk as your five. Jovic lines up a triple. Can't knock it down. First missed shot of the game for Nicole. He's three for four from the field. He's got seven. Bogdanovic looks to get Atlanta their first lead since 3-2. Gets it over to Skyler Mays. Great drop-off pass to Bruno Fernando, who slams it home. That was a good offensive set by Atlanta, and they go back up by one. I think that's Skyler Mays. I'm actually not sure, to be honest. Butler driving. Takes a bump. Reverse layup. Good. Are they going to say it's continuation and one for Jimmy? I think they do say it's an and one for Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler up to nine points. He retakes the lead for Miami. He's been solid today in this first quarter. Type those 22s for Jimmy. Wasn't sure if they called it a continuation. They do. Butler converts the three-point play. He's up to 10. Heat up 25-23, under two minutes to go in the first quarter. Oh, it's Kobe Bufkin, excuse me, the lottery pick that was taken. Oh, excuse me, not lottery. I think it was the 15th pick in the draft out of Michigan. I'd actually be intrigued to see how Kobe Bufkin plays in this game. I wasn't the highest on Kobe Bufkin in the pre-draft process, but Hawks really liked him. Jalen Johnson, DeLon Wright checks in. He projects to be the backup guard for Miami today. Hero also back in. So it's Wright, Highsmith, Hero, Hawkes, and Kevin Love for Miami. Good defense there. It's tipped out of bounds. It'll be baseline for Atlanta. Five on the shot clock. Celtics losing by 20 for real? Bogdanovich, step back on the baseline. Oh, my. He can shoot it, man. He can shoot it. Hero to Love. Top of the key three for K-Love. Is good. Kevin Love with his first basket of the game. Good pick and pop between him and Tyler Hero. Bruno Fernando driving past Love and slamming it home. Fernando's been outstanding for the Hawks in this first quarter. Eighteen points in the paint for the Hawks. Love looking to fire another three. Unable to go. Here comes the Hawks. Swung over to Buffkin. Buffkin driving on Hero. Pull up at the free throw line. Too strong. Stopped there by Miami. Love with the board. Outlet to Hero. Let's see if they go two for one. Tyler gets by Buffkin. To the rim. Layup. Good! A perfect execution of a two for one. Hero gets a high, efficient shot. High... Good look there, and they go two for one. So heat up by three. They'll also get final possession of the first quarter. Good start for Miami, offensively for sure. Krejci drives in, out to Bufkin. One more to Bogdanovich. Sidestep three for him, left it short. Rebound Kevin Love. Five, outlet to Hawkes, turned over. Bufkin stole it. Half court shot for Bufkin. Good if it goes. It won't, so that will be the end of one quarter. Heat lead by three, 30 to 27, as I almost yank my own headset off. Good start for Miami on the offensive end. Defense got off to a hot start, but Atlanta started to knock down some shots and get into the paint with ease at the end of that first quarter. The Hawks, by the way are likely going to be the 10th seed in the Eastern Conference playoffs and be on the road to Chicago in the first play-in. 
If you're scoreboard watching in Indiana, Toronto, the Pacers storm back and they hold a one-point lead going into halftime. So the Heat very much hoping the Raptors can get the upset over Indiana to help Miami potentially get the sixth seed, but it's a one-point lead for the Pacers at halftime. The Bucks are in fact beating the Pacers, or excuse me, the Celtics by 22 right now. Twenty-two is crazy. Twenty-two is crazy. If you don't remember our super chat menu, as we have two hundred forty-five people watching, any super chat gets on the program. Ten dollars super chat gets a. Two for one special today. Only today for the month of April. We do this special once a month I chose today where you get for $10 Super Chat, get two raffle tickets for our autographed Bam Adebayo jersey that we're raffling off to a Heat Report viewer at the end of the month. $10 gets you two raffle tickets today rather than one. $20 gets your name on the Heat Hall of Fame ball. And a $50 Super Chat is a beer John says grade the first half for Miami B plus B plus the offense was great defense not so much Not so much on the defensive end. Yeah, I agree, Reaper. Let's hit 9.5K subs by the end of this game. The goal was to get 10,000 subs before the playoffs. The play-in would be a week from today if you're Miami. Um, Tuesdays and Tuesday and Wednesday are the um, Tuesday, I believe, is the 7-8 games. Wednesdays are the 8-9s or 9-10s. And then Friday is the uh, oh, the last playing game for each respective conference. And the 19th. And then the 20th is the playoffs and stuff like that. Turnover, Bogdanovich just throws it out of bounds. So if the Heat end up in the 7th seed, they'll be playing a week from today or 7 or 8 seed, which they're going to be in one of that game at worst. They can't fall to the 10th spot or 9th spot. So they'll be playing either likely Philly if they can't get to the 6th seed a week from today. Hawkes misses a layup inside. Rebound by Atlanta. Kobe Bufkin now up the other way. Bam checked in for Kevin Love. Bruno Fernando up and under on Adebayo. Great defense from Bam. Gets the stop and rebound. Outlet the hero. Hero driving by Bufkin, Euro step out to Highsmith, wide open corner three for Haywood, too strong. Good job by Hero though to collapse the defense and kick it out to an open shooter. It's what he provides that some don't. Garrison Matthews corner three, too strong. Rebound by Highsmith, and now they give it to Hero as he'll bring it up the floor. Oh, good crossover by Hero, but he lost the handle and has to reset. Hero. Driving foul, Adebayo was held by Bufkin, so it'll be side out for Miami. Hawkes driving on Bufkin, spins, kicks it out to Hero, pump fake, Euro step, Hero to the rim. Great move by Tyler Hero using the shot fake and then slithering on the Euro to the rim for a layup. Tyler's been really good tonight. Made a couple bad or defensive lapses, but offensively he's just been terrific. Jalen Johnson driving, free throw line, floater, good. Second year man out of Duke has just been fantastic. Honestly, he might be their franchise player. I'm not shitting you. It would not surprise me if Trey Young gets traded in the offseason. And I think they build around Murray and him, potentially. 
Hero, pull-up jumper, true. Tyler has just been terrific. Type those 14s. Hero's been great. 11 points on 5 of 6 shooting. Pair of great passes, too. Fernando at the top of the key kicks it over to Jalen Johnson. Johnson the corner, Garrison Matthews three, short, gets his own rebound, drives baseline, kicks it out to Johnson. Johnson swings it over to Bufkin, left wing three, rattles in and out, rebound by Highsmith, outlet to Hero, Hero brings it up, Hero over to Highsmith, over to right, right back to Highsmith, three for Haywood, is good! Heat take their largest lead of the game up to eight points. The Heat are shooting 5 of 11 from 3. Hawks are 1 of 10. That's the difference in this one, folks. Bogdanovich gets a screen, gets to the elbow. Good defense by DeLon Wright. It's kicked back out to Bufkin. Bufkin swings it to the corner. Bogdanovich, 3. Can't leave him, but the Heat get lucky. Missed shot by Bogdanovich. And they call a foul on Hero? No, Haywood Highsmith. I was going to say, I thought Hero did a good job boxing out Fernando. Fernando went over the back of Hero, but they're going to say Highsmith pushed him into it. What is Solomon talking about in the chat? What's up, Locks Tara? How are you doing? Lord Buddy Bear, I'll showcase the Super Chat menu next TV timeout. DeJounte Murray, top of the key, swings it over to Bufkin. Bufkin driving on Highsmith. Floater, bucket, and the foul. Impressive move by the rookie out of Michigan. It's a tough bucket. That is a tough bucket. I don't know what to do. I don't know what Solomon's talking about. I am very confused. He's been spilling some weird stuff, dude. Uh, he's gone. This guy Solomon was just saying random ass weird shit in the chat. Like, I didn't raise my kid right. I'm 23, man. I don't have kids. Like, I'm talked about atomic bombs too. Guys, guys all over the place. Hawkeyes drives baseline, spins, finds a cutting Highsmith who can't finish inside. Rebound by Buffkin. Dejounte Murray back into the game for Atlanta. Bufkin drives, Euro step, leaves it short, but gets his own offensive rebound and then turns it over. Highsmith has it. He'll go out. He'll slow it down, though. Gets it to Hero and Trail. Hero looks to get it to Bam. Gets it to Adebayo, right wing. Bam finds Highsmith baseline. Out to DeLon right. Corner three for DeLon. Can't fall. DeJounte Murray clears the board. Crutchy drives inside, hangs, left it short. Highsmith with the board. He'll lead it up now for Miami. And I think that's out of bounds. It is out of bounds off Atlanta. So we'll stay with Miami, 7.45 to go. D-Ball says, I friend zoned a girl. Now I want her. What do I do? Um, tell her that. Only live once. Ash YOLO. Hero gets a screen from Bam. Drop off to Adebayo. Could not corral the pass. Get, gets it back after losing it. And then it's a Bam Slim. Lead back up to eight. Garrison Matthews, deep three on the left wing is true. Triple from Matthews gets it to a five-point game. Like I said in the pregame, man, you've never, you've never seen the Heat play Garrison Matthews. He is a killer. Hero to the rim for a layup. Hero's been unbelievable, man. Hunter inside. His layup's good. Now back and forth we go in Atlanta. Hero's awesome right now. Hero driving on Crutchy. 
gets to the rim, bumped, fouled on the floor. And that will take us to our first timeout of the quarter. Saw Loctara in the building. Also saw Buddy Bear asking what the Super Chat menu is. Here's our Super Chat menu. Any Super Chat gets on the show, $10 Super Chat for today only gets a two-for-one special. You get two raffle tickets for the price of one laser-printed autographed Bam at a Bio jersey. $20 gets you into the Heat Report Hall of Fame, and a $50 Super Chat is a beer bong. See if anyone bites on that. I'm also going to go grab some food real quick because, um, gotta be honest, folks, I didn't eat dinner. I kind of feel a little iffy right now, so I'm gonna go grab some. I'm gonna go grab my vegetables that I ordered, and then I'll be right back. What's up, Jesus Batista? We back. You guys know I don't really leave the channel often, but uh wasn't feeling hot, so I wanted to get some food. It's like one of those things where like I'm sweating a lot right now, but I don't feel hot, you know what I mean? Got some broccoli and sweet potatoes. It's terrific stuff. My oh my, is that broccoli good? I'm sorry, I apologize for eating, but I think I need to eat something. I think I need to eat something. Hopefully this makes me feel better. Give me some energy, too. Still Highsmith, DeLon, Wright, Hawkeyes, Bam, and Hero on the floor. Wright, as the Hawks go to a zone here, Hero swings over to DeLon, Wright, one more, open three for Highsmith. Can't get it to go. Haywood, one for three from the field. I'm sorry, King of Reese's. DeAndre Hunter, oh, what a move inside. Can't finish, though. Good defense by Hawkeyes on the recovery. That was impressive because Hawkeyes got beat off the dribble on a great move, but he recovered nicely to contest that floater. I was fasting 43 hours. I've done a 72-hour, three-day fast before. I did it like two months ago or four months ago, whatever it was. Actually, way longer ago, I think. Um, and I was going to do it again to kind of clear my system as the lot right gets to the rim for a rebound. But uh, I was not feeling too hot there, folks. So I had to break that fast with some broccoli. DeJounte Murray swings over to Garrison Matthews. Matthews sidestep triple. It's good, plus a foul. Oh, my. That was a very difficult shot. Garrison Matthews has a chance to get a four-point play. I selfishly don't really care right now because I needed him to get more than six and a half points. 
makes the free throws have seven. I don't know if it's a mental effect or not, but I've just after eating some of this broccoli, I feel much better already. Oh, he misses the free throw. If that effort finishes with six points, I'm going to be pissed. That's right, Ron Baker. I did fast during our uh, nine-game losing streak earlier this year. If that guy finished with six points, I would become the biggest Garrison Matthews hater on the history of the planet. Jimmy Butler gets a screen from Bam. Jimmy drives, drop off to DeLon Wright. He dropped the pass, regathers, and lays it up and in, though. Good recovery there by DeLon Wright after initially fumbling the pass. Hunter working inside, elbow jumper for DeAndre Hunter, no good. Rebound by Butler, Jimmy out and running. Caleb Martin checked in for Tyler here, by the way. It's Jimmy, Martin, Highsmith, Bam, and DeLon Wright. Butler fumbles the ball, gets it back. Calls for a screen, gets a screen. Hands it over to Bam. Bam swings it to Martin. Martin in the corner, five on the shot clock. Step back three. No good, that was a tough shot. Didn't expect that one. DeAndre Hunter, long three, no good. Martin Board, heat out and running. DeLon Wright, wide open three. It's good! DeLon Wright with a triple. Gives Miami their largest lead of the game, which is nine. Heat were one of five from three in the quarter, quarter but proved that number there. DeAndre Hunter missed three. Bam Board, outlet, stolen away by DeJounte Murray. He has got long arms, man. Murray out and running. Murray crossing over, pull up shot at the elbow, gets a friendly roll off front rim. DeJounte Murray is a very good ball player. Murray up to six points on the game. Jimmy Butler on the right wing, swings it inside the bam. Bam, fouled by DeAndre Hunter. 3.45 to go in the first half. Chloe, if Miami wins, they win. Nothing can be clinched today, or if that's what you're asking. He's going to win, improve their chances of not being the eight seed. Jovic in. Jovic playing small ball five here as Bam heads to the bench. Hero back in as well. Butler drives on Capella, spins, fake spins, fades away, off glass. Good. That is vintage Jimmy Butler right there, taking it to the big man and then fading away in the mid range. Vintage, Jimmy. Lead is nine. DeJounte Murray, pull up three over Butler. Can't go. Jovic board. Jovic out and running. This is where he's dangerous. Jovic to hero. Corner three for Tyler. Oh, can't go. But look at Jovic, man. Getting the board defensively, running out in transition, and finding an open shooter. Hawks the other way. Hunter has it. Spins on DeLon Wright. Goes up. Stripped by Martin. It will stay with the Hawks on the baseline. Caleb Martin's been great defensively today. Oh, that's off DeAndre Hunter. Time out on the floor. I don't know if this is a challenge or not, but that certainly was off the Hawks. I wonder if Spo would be willing to challenge it. I don't think he will. Probably not. He never challenges. Yeah, he's not challenging. We are sponsored by Prize Fix, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Get started with Prize Picks today. Go to chatsports. or you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS or just download the app. As April is here, that's the biggest moments on the ice, on the hardwood. Get started today. And you could win up to 100 times your money. Yes, you heard me, 100. You could turn 10 into 1,000 by four or more selections ranging across NBA, NHL, MLB. You can do it all. 
I made some picks for today's game, and it's honestly been going very, very good for me so far. Three-player entry for me, it was 10 to win 50. Nikola Jovic, more than 7.5 points. He has 7. Hopefully, he's able to score in the rest of this game. Look, the more than Garrison Matthews, 6.5 points. He has 6 points for the Hawks off the bench. And then I took the more than on DeJounte Murray, 35.5 points, rebounds, assists. He has 6 points, 7 assists, and 3 rebounds. So he's got 16 total right now, which means he's looking pretty on pace there. Join me and Sugar Sean O'Malley, Meek Mill, and some of the other Prize Picks community members over at Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app. So get started today, download the app, or go into the live chat and hit that link, prizepicks.com slash CLNS, and then use code CLNS. Whew. I don't know if it was the placebo effect or not, folks. But all I did was eat a little bit of broccoli, and I feel much better. I am no longer having cold sweats. Forty-four hour fast, still pretty good. I'm gonna try to do seventy-two again, but no more. Finish our broccoli. Now we go over to the sweet potato slash. I don't know what this is. Or the sweet potato. This is from Flower Child. It's Flower Child sweet potato. It might be the best thing on planet Earth. I swear to God. So good. We're back. DeAndre Hunter inbounding. Bam checks back in. Jovic slides to the four. So very small minutes of Jovic at the five. Bam forces the turnover. Getting his hands on the Bogdanovich pass. Hero baseline drive. Kicks it back out to Jimmy. Back to Tyler. Guarded by Bogdanovich. Calls for a screen. Hero picks up his dribble. Gets it to Butler left wing. Five on the shot clock. 2.30 to go in the half. Butler drive on the baseline. Out to Martin. Deep three for Caleb. Can't fall. Open look, but you're not really hoping to get a 30-foot three from Caleb Martin as your look. Capella, right block, kicks it out to Bogdanovich, overcommits by, or Tyler Hero overcommits. Bogdanovich drives, hangs, floater, short, Hero with the board. Chance to take this lead to double digits for Miami for the first time today. Hero finds the trailing Adebayo, who whips it inside the Butler. Butler back to Bam. Bam launches a three off the catch, and he banks it in. Adebayo is now two for two from three. Some of them are pretty. Some of them are not. That one, not pretty. Banked it in. Murray, drive on Jovic. Swings it out. Stolen by Butler. Butler fouled by Jalen Johnson. I don't know if they're in the bonus, but great defense by Miami as they hold a 12-point lead. AJ, how much you want to bet Miami makes out of the plan? How much you want to buy, AJ? Bam, has it. Just gets a curling hero, floater, free throw line, and one! Tyler Hero is unconscious in this first half. Oh, shit. Chance to get a three-point play. 20 bucks, AJ? Will you send... Me, 20 bucks if the Heat make the playoffs, either as the eight seed or as a seven seed, and they're in a four game series. AJ, if you back out, I'll be pissed. I'll send you 20, but I will guarantee Miami will be playing in a, play in a playoff series. Hero converts the three point play, 56 41. AJ, you got it? Virtual handshake. Type the handshake emoji in the chat. I swear to God, I'm doing this right now. If you win and the Heat miss the playoffs entirely, I'll Venmo you 20 bucks personally. If not, you either have to send a $20 super chat or you could Venmo me 20. Don't matter. DeJounte Murray answers with a triple. Back to a 12 point lead. I, AJ, I'm a man of my word. Roloffs, 
Roloff's like to gamble a little bit, to be honest. And we, but we pay our debts. Hero, three. In and out. Under a minute to go. 45 to go. Heat up 12. Murray finds Hunter on the right corner. Back to DeJounte. Jovic defending. Murray, sidestep three over Nikola. That one doesn't fall. It goes out of bounds. Jovic stands firm and holds his ground. Attaboy, Nikola. Let's go. This is in fact your meals today. I, I didn't have what. I'm waiting on my new shipment. Jovic, corner three. Oh, Nikola Jovic! You want to talk about a guy who is. I, I'm telling you right now, Jovic is my favorite player on the team. I don't care anymore. And it, yes, don't care anymore. It was Bam. Jovic is my favorite player on the team. Murray driving, kicks out to Bogdanovic, left wing three. At the buzzer, it falls. Bogdanovich beats the buzzer to get the Hawks within 12 going into halftime. Nikola Jovic is my king. He is my GOAT. I mean, that was good defense by Miami. That three was so high arcing. Either way, that takes us to the half. 59-47, Miami leads. I grade that half as an A-. minus. Excellent offense. Defense picked up. They gave up 27 points in the first quarter, 20 in the second quarter. And then they scored 30 and 29, respectively. Good start for Miami. Up 12 at half. Rate it for me. I'm saying A minus. B, A minus. B plus. B plus. B plus. B plus. A minus. Mr. Geo. I want to talk about someone who brings it every single night. Mr. Geo is that guy. $10 super chat from Mr. Geo. Appreciate you, my friend. That gets you two raffle tickets, Mr. Geo, because every $10 super chat tonight, Mr. Geo, is a two-for-one for the Adebayo autographed jersey. Tonight, today's really deal of the day. Let's go, Heat. You, you got this. F12. Your boy says, Roly Nico. Your boy, it's your boy's a real one. He knows how much I've liked Nikola Jovic, um, dating back to the offseason. At the time of the pick, when Miami picked him with a 27th overall pick, I was skeptical. I was. The Heat do not often take international players like that that are developmental prospects or projects, right? But they did at 27. They had a luxury at the time coming off um, the number one seed in the Eastern Conference and losing in the Eastern Conference Finals. And for that pick to already pay dividends in year two, is very impressive work by our scouting department. The Heat rarely make mistakes in terms of scouting. They made one in taking Presh Chua over Tyrese Maxey. But they bounced back big by taking Nikola Jovic 27. A little just a kid from Serbia. Youngest player in the draft. Never playing in a real competition like that. He's been unbelievable. Unbelievable. He's been so good. I might be wear I might be wearing my Nikola Jovic jersey every game from here on out. I think I'm gonna do it.
Every game from here on out, Nikola Jokic jersey. You guys in? Are you guys okay with that? Reaper says yes, but Jimmy the goat. Jimmy's Jimmy's goaded. I have a Jimmy jersey. I think for the playoffs slash play in, I'm bringing back the jerseys. What do you guys What are you guys thoughts on that? If I bring back jerseys, are you guys in? Reaper says yes. Mr. Geo says yes. You could bring back the jersey of the game thing, where I have a different Heat jersey every day. Or at least the jersey that's affiliated with Miami, whether it be a college jersey. But I do have a Tyler Hero Kentucky jersey. Um, we could bring those back. Bring back the jersey of the day. Today's Super Chat menu. See if we get any Super Chats during halftime. Mr. Geo sent a 10 in. Any Super Chat gets on the show. A $10 raffle or Super Chat usually gets you one raffle ticket for Bam at a bio. Today, it's a two-for-one special. A $10 Super Chat gets you two raffle tickets for our laser-printed autograph jersey. $20 Super Chat is the Heat Report Hall of Fame. Gets your name on our Heat basketball, which I'll show in a little bit. And uh, you get Vice Legend. And then a $50 Super Chat, I chug a beer. Aaron says, do we have any chance to get in the sixth seed? Um, unlikely. The Pacers would have to go one and two in their final three games. They play the Cavs, Raptors, and Hawks. They're beating the Raptors by 13. So if the Pacers win today, they'd have to go 0 and 2 in their final two games. Do we trust the Hawks and Cavs to beat Indiana? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, sweet potatoes or something else. Something else. Tell you what, I haven't always been the biggest potato guy, but if there would be one food where I can have, I think snap my fingers, I have it right next to me, it would be flower child sweet glazed sweet potatoes. I'm telling you, if I could snap my fingers and have that as a snack or a side for whatever dinner I cook up, I mean, it is unbelievable. Jay the Fox, I just said what I was doing. Flower child sweet potatoes. And I had flower child broccoli, too. I was doing a fast, but then I started to feel not so good during the watch party. Um, I started sweating. Wait, like I, I do sweat a little bit during the watch parties because it gets hot in the studios at times. And, you know, I move around a lot. I get excited. But during that first half, like, I had the cold sweat, which if I wasn't on live, I probably would have fought through because I know it's just food withdrawals. It's nothing serious. But, I mean, in order for me to give you guys a good enough show and not pass out on live shit stream, I needed to eat something. So I had broccoli and sweet. Chug a Lotus with a ten dollar super chat. Shout out to Chug a Lotus. Get this guy out. Not a bad deal today, Roly, but bring back every super chat as a shot deal. Name your price. Much love, Roly. Love the Rocky hoodie. Go heat. Thank you, Chug a Lotus. Chug a Lotus, you get two raffle tickets. Um, I think I learned my lesson from the every super chat that features something in it is a shot because you just pounded me that day and I did not feel good after that juggle lotus. But I do appreciate the comment. This is my favorite hoodie I have. It's, uh, it inspires me a lot. Rocky three, when Rocky goes to train or train with Apollo Creed after losing to Clubber Tang and isn't feeling the motivation, isn't feeling good, and he says, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. And then 
Apollo Creed goes, there is no tomorrow, Rock. There is no tomorrow. Kind of an inspirational quote for me where um, there is no tomorrow guaranteed, guys. So if you're going to do something, do it today. If you want to start a diet, start it today. Don't wait for tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. If you want to start working out, start it today. Don't start tomorrow. You're going to push today's workout off and take a rest day? There is no tomorrow. Work out. Applies to everything in life, I think. For that one guy earlier that uh, said, uh, I friend-zoned a girl, but now I want her back. What do I do? There is no tomorrow. Ask her, ask her out tonight. Mr. Geo, another $10 super chat. Let's go. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. Back quite again hot. We haven't too many uh, run timeouts, but Mr. Geo does get another two raffle tickets. Appreciate you, Mr. Geo. Yeah, I could run through some stats here for you, Reaper. Leading scorer for Miami is Tyler Hero with 16 points. He's got 16 points, 3 assists, 2 rebounds, 7 of 10 shooting, 1 of 4 from 3. Jimmy Butler has 12 points, 5 assists. Nikola Jovic has 10 on 4 of 5 shooting. Bam has 8 points on 3 of 3 shooting, include 2 triples. DeLon Wright has 7 points. <laughs> Somehow, two layups and a three. Highsmith has a three. Kevin Love has a three. For the Hawks, the leading scorer for them is DeJounte Murray. Nine points, eight assists, two rebounds. Or three rebounds, excuse me. So up to 21. Is that, is that right? No, up to 20 points, rebounds, assists. So good pace for me on that more than with prize picks. Jalen Johnson has seven, Bogdanovich has nine, Garrison Matthews has six, Bruno Fernando has eight. Bruno Fernando has eight. Reaper says, Nick, I have an idea. So when Miami wins, the best player of the game for the Heat, you wear the jersey the next day. I don't hate that idea, Reaper. I will say I don't own a jersey for every single player. So, like, if Terry Rose I don't own a Terry Rozier jersey. So if Rozier was the best player of the game, I can't, can't do that. Um, or, like, Duncan Robinson, I don't have a Duncan jersey. I don't have a Kevin Love. I don't have a Caleb Martin jersey. I don't have a Highsmith jersey. Jerseys I do have, I have Jimmy, Tyler, Bam, Jovic, Dwayne Wade. Those are the five players I have. Multiple jerseys for a couple of them. John Wick says, well, go get them. I, I don't have the bread to be dropping $100 on jerseys like that, man. Contrary to popular belief, I just don't have the ability to do that. I don't have the problem to do. I don't have the ability to do that. <laughs> Your boy says just do tape over the jersey. Yeah. Put, put tape. Change the number and stuff every time. Do something. Donwick says, "Roll, you know, ball and chill out." I, or I don't. I ain't like that, man. I don't got the funds like that. I don't got funds like that. You might you might think I do. I don't. I wish I did, folks. I wish I had the type of money where I could own a jersey for every player on the team. That'd be sick. I don't. I don't got the funds like that, folks. All right, we're almost back to action in the second half. I'm honestly so I, – I, I already said it earlier, and I don't want to be buzzkill, but I'm so happy I ended up breaking my fast to eat that food. I feel so much better. Holy I, – I was fucking down to the dirt, folks. I – there was a th – there was a – there was – I wouldn't – there was a more than 0% chance I was going to pass out on stage. I mean, I was sweating uncontrollably. 
and I was feeling cold. I had the cold sweats. I didn't. That didn't happen the first time I did the fast. So interesting. We are almost the way to get action back. Back in action. Heat up 12 at the half. Hero 16 points to lead all scorers tonight. Seven to ten shooting. Those three misses were from threes. I'm doing good, Melvin. How are you doing? I agree, Planny. So expensive. I also bought a new piece of clothing today, too. And, you know, you really have to... It's someone in my shoes who doesn't have the biggest amount of funds. Like, I, uh... I had to uh, buy a new St. Bonaventure quarter zip. I don't own a lot of St. Bonaventure clothing, specifically because I lost a lot of weight, as some of you might know. So all of my St. Bonaventure hoodies and stuff are, like, too big now. So I wanted a quarter zip, and I got a text from the St. Bonaventure t store that quarter zips were 20% off today and back in stock. So I was like, I looked at it, pretty solid price. I had to jump on it, so... What's up says over under 217. Where are we at right now? I mean, we're on pace to beat that, right? We're at, we were at 106. No, we're not actually on pace to beat that. We'll see. I'd probably go under considering the Heat likely won't do this again. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is, Robert Vaughn with a $20 Super Chat. He's going to get on the Hall of Fame. And the second half gets started with a bang, Jimmy Butler, steal and dunk. That's how you start the second half, folks. That I, I credit that to Robert Vaughn. Shout out to Robert Vaughn. Murray, corner three for Atlanta. He answers quickly with a triple. Ooh, DeJounte Murray, he's a good ball player, man. He is a good ball player. Nikola Jovic brings it up for Miami. Gets it inside the BAM. He faces up on Clint Capella. Capella really has not anything today. Drives baseline, kicks it out to Caleb. Caleb, pump fake, finds trailing hero. Two on the shot clock. Tyler fires, comes up short from three. Now one of five from that area today. Murray drives baseline, hangs too strong. Rebound gathered offensively by Capella. His putback is good. Jimmy will bring it back up now for Miami. Gets it to Bam on the right wing. Bam backs down on Capella. Double teamed. Drives, gets, beats the double team and swoops in for a lefty layup. Impressive move from Adebayo there. Bogdanovich finds Capella on the roll, but it's going to be a kick ball. Murray inbounding it to Capella. Back to DeJounte. Bogdanovich drives on Hero, gets to his left hand, misses the layup, rebound Butler. Here comes Miami. Jimmy finds Hero, corner three off the catch. That one is good. Hero was one of five from three, makes it two of six. He back up by 14. DeJounte Murray is a good ball player, but I think that ship has sailed with Atlanta. What a pass inside. DeAndre Hunter slams it home. As soon as the Heat traded for Terry Rozier, the DeJounte Murray trade kind of went up, blew up into existence. Not going to happen. Bam, free throw line. Jab step, pump fake. Bam, kicks it over to Hero. Hero will launch another three off the catch. That one misses right. Rebound by Atlanta. DeAndre Hunter out and running now. Kicks it over to Murray. DeJounte Murray driving on Hero. Stops. Floater. Good. DeJounte Murray, man. With that said about that ship being sailed, he is still one heck of a basketball player. 
he would have been terrific as that fourth guy. He actually probably would have been the third guy, and then Hero was the fourth guy. But a Hero Rose or Murray backcourt would have been very good. Jovic, three. Oh! My goodness! This kid is special. Oh, 13 points, three or four from three. Oh, what a block by Caleb Martin rejecting off the glass. Jalen Johnson got the offensive rebound and put it back up and in. No. Oh, man, I tell you what, Jovic, dude. Butler driving. Caleb, baseline cut, gets it, dribbles it back out. He now spins on Bogdanovich. It's stripped out of bounds. He'll stay with Miami on the baseline. Nikola Jovic, dude. What can I say about this guy that I haven't already? Bam gets it on the inbound. Drives. Double teamed. Kicks out to Caleb. Right wing three for Martin. Doesn't fall. Rebound down to DeAndre Hunter. He'll bring it up for Atlanta. Jovic gambled on a steal. Probably a bad idea there. And it results in an easy layup for Jalen Johnson. Jovic has played basically a flawless game up until that point. There was really no chance of him getting that steal. I don't know why he tried to, but okay. Bam, left wing, jab step, drive, stripped by Capella. Out of bounds, excuse me there. Shout out to Robert Baugh on the $20 Super Chat. I appreciate you, my friend. Get you on the Hall of Fame ball when we are in a timeout. Heat lead by nine. They're at a very nice 69 points. Bam, top of the key. Lob to Butler. Turned over. Bad pass. Here comes the Hawks. DeAndre Hunter, layup. No good. Fouled. Oh, no foul. I thought they called a foul. Bogdanovich, three. That doesn't go. It will go to Miami as the ball is tipped out of bounds by... Are they going to say staying with the Hawks? Is that ball not clearly tipped by Atlanta? What? Bogdanovich, baseline drive. Out to Jalen Johnson. Johnson, back to Bogdanovich. Three. In and out. He has really struggled today. That ball's got to go to Miami. That's out of bounds off Jalen Johnson. Thank you. My goodness. Bam, top of the key, hands it off to Hero. Hero, guarded by DeJounte Murray, turns it over. Back-to-back -back bad passes by Miami. Bogdanovich out and running, lobs it to DeJounte Murray, who smokes the layup, Jovic board, and then he's fouled. And then Jimmy Butler reverse, reverse dunk in transition. Jovic was fouled on the pass ahead, though. Ooh. Are they going to call this a take foul? Oh. So they call a transition take foul on Atlanta, which means you're going to get a free throw and a ball if you're Miami, but they're actually reviewing to see if it's a clear path foul, which would actually be... I believe two free throws and ball for Miami. Hopefully I got that right. We haven't really had one of these in a long time in a Miami Heat game. So, Jovic did a great job of getting the rebound and kicking it out. I mean, I actually don't think it's either one, to be honest. I mean, it looked like Bogdanovich was going to try to steal the ball from Jovic rather than just purposely follow him to limit a transition opportunity. We'll see what they call, though. My shoe here. Oh boy. I did today was leg day at the gym and my legs are sore, folks. All right. So they're gonna keep the call of a transition take foul, which means Miami gets one free throw and ball. So chance to make this a ten point game and then get that even higher with another offensive possession. possession. Jimmy Butler will take the free throws. Atlanta's only taken two free throws today. They're 0-2. The Heat have taken six. They're 5-6. So not a lot of fouls tonight. 
Jimmy makes the first there, so it is a se- or the only free throw on that trip. So it's seventy sixty. Look ahead around the look around the league. By the way, the Pacers are up fifteen going into the fourth quarter on the Raptors. So unlikely that Miami is going to get the upset from Toronto, which means if the Heat want any chance of the six seed, they need the Cavs to beat the Pacers on Friday, and then the Hawks to beat the Pacers on Sunday. We'll see. Bam at the elbow. Guarded by Capella. Jab step. Double team stolen. DeJounte Murray out and running. Murray Murray gets to the lane and lays it up and in. DeJounte Murray continuing his excellent play tonight. 10-4 run by Atlanta to get it to an eight-point game. Bam, top of the key. Hands it off to Hero. Hero left open for three. And then Murray commits a foul running through the Adebayo screen. And we are going to have our first timeout of the second half. Ooh. So we're going to get Robert Bond on the ball here. Robert Bond, second time getting into the Hall of Fame. Shout out to Robert Bond. Right underneath his own name on this new panel that we just started. $20 gets your name into the Hall of Fame. You rec- get recognized as a Hall of Famer and get your name on the sweet Miami Heat basketball. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. We are also sponsored by Factor Meals. Get started today with them and get 50% off when you head to factormeals.com slash heatchat50 and use code heatchat50. That link is in the live chat of today's show. Eating better is easy with Factor's delicious right-to-eat meals. Every fresh, never-frozen meal is chef-crafted and dietitian approved and also ready to go in just two minutes. There's over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. What are you waiting for? Get started today and get after your goals. Flexible for your schedule. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meals every week. You can pause or reschedule your deliveries at any time. No prep, no mess, no mess meals. Factor meals are ready to heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleaning up needed. Get started today by going to the live chat and clicking on that link or just visiting factormeals.com slash heatchat50 and using code heatchat50. I love Factor. They are my favorite sponsor here at the Heat Report. I always say that because their meals are truly delicious and it fits my schedule at the best time. So join me and millions of others at factormeals.com slash heatchat50. Use code heatchat50. Can't wait for my new order of Factor Meals to get in. I ordered the keto. I got new keto ones because I'm trying a keto type diet, high protein, high fats, low carbs, low sugar. We'll see. I did just have some carbs there with broccoli and sweet potatoes, but those are those are good carbs. Those are good carbs. I'm trying to limit the bread and stuff like that. It's really the sugar that you got to watch out for, folks. That's really what you got to look out for. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. 330 people watching. We're live for every single Miami Heat game, breaking down the action. We also put videos out in between each game. We'll be the number one spot for Miami Heat postseason coverage. And then when the season unfortunately comes to an end, we'll also be the number one spot for offseason rumors and news that we cover, whether it be draft, free agency, trade. You can bet your bottom dollar if the Heat go out early. There'll be a lot of conversation about trades, Trading people, trading for people. So don't miss out. Join the channel today. Benign says, do you think the Nuggets are going to be in the finals again? I would not only think they're going to be in the finals again, I think the Denver Nuggets will be winning the title again. So Jimmy Butler got fouled. So Jimmy got fouled. Got pushed out of bounds, and it looks like Quinn Snyder and the Atlanta Hawks are going to challenge the foul call. PJ says, hey, I just subscribed to you. I really like your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you, PJ the DJ. Appreciate the kind words, and welcome to the channel. I think 
Going to head to a TV timeout once again because of the Hawks challenge. Hawks mascot with a nice little dunk there off the trampoline. Oh, now this little guy. Ooh, between the legs, he stay. Ooh, what's this guy got in store? I think he's going to do a flip, front flip. No. Oh, he went for the Aaron Gordon and botched it. Couldn't get between the underneath the legs. Sky squad sinks. This guy's going to go front flip. No, he does the behind the back or behind the legs. Nice dunk. What do we got here? This guy looks like he's going to close us out. Give us something good. Give us something good. The mascot. Jump. Off glass. Slam dunk. That's it? It's kind of weak. What does this kind of give me? Give me something good. Oh, my God. He botched it. Second time that guy botched it. This guy stinks. How is he in the Sky Squad if he can't dunk? Come on, give me something good. Oh, they're going to do their thing where they do it four people in a row. Off glass one, off glass two, off glass three with a front flip into a slam dunk. PJ the DJ says, a month ago I met Bam, Duncan, and Tyler. Where'd you meet them, PJ the DJ? In Miami? Is that where you are at? Oh, that's Bam. Nice. Nice. Nice, PJ. Ty, sign your jersey, too. That's sick. So they won the challenge. It was successful. Not a uh, foul and a turnover on Miami. It's unfortunate. DeAndre Hunter, top of the key. Step back three over Bam. Comes up short. Caleb Martin with the board. Heat still lead by eight. The largest of the game was 14. Martin, good pass inside the Bam. Guard by Hunter. Go to work, Bam. Double teamed. Out to Butler. Butler drives out Capella. Gets to the rim. Misses the layup. What's up, Sam? Jalen Johnson the other way, finds a trailing Garrison Matthews for three, and he comes up short. Rebound, DeJounte Murray. Now Jalen Johnson on the cut for an easy layup inside. Down the six-point lead now, Miami. Jalen Johnson's hurt. I think he rolled his ankle. It's a five-on-four, and the Heat turn it over. How is this possible? DeJounte Murray finds Garrison Matthews. Corner three, no good. Ball out of bounds. It will stay with the Hawks. How do you turn it over when you have a five on four? Jalen Johnson. Oh, yeah. Gnarly ankle turn. That was gnarly. What's up, Clint C? DEP, what's up? Murray has it. Draw, working on Caleb Martin. Gets the screen from Fernando. Now Jovic. Five on the shot clock. Murray. Isolating. Good double. Swung out to Matthews for three. Garrison Matthews checked into the game 30 seconds ago and put up three threes in 30 seconds. That's impressive. Jovic the other way. Inside. Bumped. Fouled. Nikola Jovic will go to the line for two. Garrison Matthews called on the blocking foul. Tell you what, I told you earlier when Garrison Matthews missed the free throw to get him to seven points. I was more than on prize pick six and a half. I think he is going to finish with six, and I'm going to get two. Yo, which makes the first. Jaime says, you suck. The Miami Heat are not good at stop. Copying chat sports by Marshall Green. Here's the fucking thing, Jaime. We work for the same company. Not copying anyone, man.
Hero has it, or excuse me, Murray top of the key. Swings it over to Crutchy. Back to Murray. He's targeted Jovic a lot. Double teamed. Out to Crutchy for three. No good. Rebound fought for. Gathered by DeJounte Murray on the tip. Murray swings it over to Hunter. Corner three for DeAndre Hunter is good. Hawks get it down to five. It was as much as 14. Jovic, left wing three. He gets it to go! Jovic answers after an unbelievable 18-point game on Sunday against the Pacers. He has 18 again on four or five shooting from deep. Murray driving, stopping, fading away on Jovic. Look at Nikola do it on the defensive end. But Crutchy with an offensive rebound. Come on, guys. Hunter driving on Jovic. Hangs. Finishes. It feels like Jovic just gets targeted every possession. He's honestly done a good job of holding his own, but it's got to be exhausting. Butler gets a screen from Hawkes, who's been quiet today. Butler backing down Garrison Matthews. Picks up his dribble. Now to Hawkes in the corner. Triple J driving. Gets stopped. Drops it off to Highsmith. Turns it over. DeJounte Murray's third, turn or third steal of the game. Murray to Hunter. Hunter, right wing three. Good. Lead down to three for Miami. Oh, boy. It's a three-point game. The Hawks have outscored the Heat by nine in this quarter. Jante Murray already has 34 points, rebounds, and assists. I had them more than on 35 and a half. So one basket from DeJounte makes that prize pick selection good. I took the more than on Jovic seven and a half points. He's got 18. And I also took the more than on Garrison Matthews six and a half. He's got six. And he's missed three shots in the second half. Uh-oh. Giannis Antetokounmpo went down on the floor with no contact. He was headed up court and crumbled to the ground. His teammates helped him off the floor and back to the locker room. Uh, folks? Oh, boy. Uh, I don't know what the severity is. I'm kind of looking on Twitter right now. That could be brutal, though, man. And you don't root for injury, but uh, maybe Miami wants to get the seventh seed, plays Milwaukee at the two spot. They don't have Giannis. Like, I, the Heat are probably going to win that series again. Jimmy Butler misses a three. He get offensive rebound and have a second chance opportunity to go. Jimmy driving out to Highsmith. Left wing three for Haywood. Misses. Rebound by Hawkes. Out to Highsmith. Another opportunity. Another miss. Another offensive rebound by Hawkes. Triple J on the glass. Butler doubled. It swung around to Jovic. Nikola pump fakes drive. Euro step floater. Got, can't go. Rebound to Jante Murray. Here comes the Hawk. Murray spinning. Good defense by Miami. It's almost turned over, but Murray regains control. DeJounte facing up, opposite inside. Fernando working on DeLon right. Spins, fouled. Bruno Fernando will head to the line for two with 2.25 to go. A lot of good opportunities at that last possession for Miami. Unable to capitalize. Wide open look after wide open look. Fernando at the line, makes that one. Heat going a little small ball here with Jovic at the five.
Eight points for Fernando. Fernando goes two for two. One point game. He'd have led practically the entire game, but they've been getting dominated by the Hawks in the third quarter. Delon right gets it to Jimmy on the left side. Jovic sets the screen. Now Hunter still defending Butler. Butler driving, stopping, takes a lot of contact, can't get it to go, but he gets his own rebound. Butler saves it. Has Jovic, doesn't give it to Jovic. Now he calls for a screen, gets the screen. Garrison Matthews on the switch. Jimmy drives to the rim, spinning, 360 pass, and then DeLon Wright turns it over. DeAndre Hunter out in transition. Layup, no good, but fouled. First follow the night on Nikola Jovic. Hunter ties the game up. At 75. Bam checks in. Jovic will take a seat. Butler also down. I think Hero in. So it's Hakez, Bam, Highsmith, Delon, and Hero. Hunter misses the second. So it's going to be tied at 75 with two minutes to go in the quarter. Hero has it left wing. Gets a screen from Bam. Hero driving on Murray. Hanging, fouled, and one! Tyler Hero right off the bench and into the action with an and one. <laughs> Drives on Murray, gets Murray's hand in the cookie jar, was able to hang and finish with the contact. Impressive move by Tyler Hero, who has been back with a bang, his third game back from injury, and I tell you what, it looks like he has not missed any time. And on cue, he misses a free throw. <sighs> Hawks trail by two. Murray has it. Guarded by Highsmith. Gets it to Hunter, top of the key. Jab step. Five on the shot clock. Deep two for Hunter. It goes, and we're tied up once again. DeAndre Hunter's had one heck of a third quarter. I'll tell you that. What? 10-2 run for Atlanta. Hawkes driving. Eurostep charge. Jaime Hawkes has been very bad in the second half of the year. I jinxed Hero? How did I jinx Hero? Oh, missing the free throw. 2-3 zone for Miami. Murray launches a three, and the Hawks were just very close to taking the lead. That three rattled in and out. Here comes Bam after the board. Kicks it over to Tyler. Tyler on the right side. Swings at the Highsmith. Extra pass to Hawkes. Corner three. Good. There we go, Jaime. There you go, kid. I tweeted out Jaime has been really bad in the second half of the year, and he heard my tweet and knocked down a three. Big three for Miami. Murray to Matthews, corner three. Good. Tied at 80. My prize picks hit, though, with that three. So at least I won 50 bucks tonight. Hero, top of the key. Gets it to Bam, Bam. Oh, went in for a slam and lost the ball. Here come the Hawks. Gretchy inside, back out to Hunter, top of the key, back to Gretchy. Seven to go in the quarter. Swung over to Murray. Murray, deep three over, bam. No good, DeLon right board, and that's how we'll end the third. The Hawks win the third quarter by 13 points, and we're tied at 80 heading into the final 12 minutes of the ball game. Fourth quarter time. Get the pause in the air, folks. Get the pause in the air.
Pause in the air. Spam those four. Spam it. I see a comment that AJ works for Chat Sports. That certainly is not the case. Spam those fours if you want Miami to win. Scenes, Bob, Randy, AV, MIA Heat Prov, Frankie, Tony, Visible, Deb, Tashani, AJ, Money, Hot Dog, Ron Baker, Bob, Jovich, Ultra. Spam those fours. It is fourth quarter time. Juggle Lotus. Wow, look at this. I know it's baseball news, but calling up. Top prospect, Jackson Holiday. Cool, good for them. In Baltimore. Melvin. AS is in the building. What's up, AS? Well, I'm looking at this Giannis. Whoa. That was very odd with Giannis. That is very strange. Non-contact where he grabbed his calf that usually signals a potential Achilles. Hopefully it's just a cramp. Hopefully Giannis is okay. Never want to see injury. Hopefully he's okay. Never want to never want to root for injury. All right, heat ball to start the fourth quarter. Let's see what the heat got, folks. Need to win it if they want to have any chance at a six seed. Actually, I'm pretty sure if they lose this game and the Pacers win, um, the Heat can't finish as the six seed. Like the only chance is Miami going four and zero, especially if the Pacers win. But if you lose this game, uh, you're you're fucked for the seven eight seed too, and you'll likely be a uh, on the road in the first playing game. No PV, do not say that. That's terrible. You don't hope for injuries. I don't care. Don't hope for injuries. Hawkes, top of the key. It's Hawkes, Hero, Highsmith, Bam, and Delon Wright. Bam gets it over to Tyler. Tyler driving. Hanging, floater. Tyler Hero's been fantastic tonight. Say what you want about Tyler Hero for the season, but the Heat are a much better team with him, and he's showing you why today. Leading scorer for Miami. Leads to two. Let's see if Miami can steady the ship and have a strong fourth quarter. Bufkin driving, stopping, floater, short, rebound. They're going to call foul on Bam, going over the back on Fernando, as the Heat went to his zone and got out of position defensively. See if the Heat can start to get some stops defensively. They gave up 33 points in the third quarter. Bufkin gets a screen, drives, swings it over to Bogdanovich. He pump fakes, drives inside, Euro step, drop off pass, loose ball stolen. And then it's stolen back. That is just bad job by Adebayo. Luckily, Garrison Matthews tips in a shot to make it a tie game. What is Bam thinking? Outletting that to Tyler Hero with someone right behind him. So Tyler catches it, puts the ball on the deck, and then immediately gets the ball stripped. Hero answers with a triple. Tyler Hero, folks. This is his game. He's been unbelievable. Bufkin, 
Swings it to the corner. Almost turned over. Wes Matthews checks in for the first time today. Bogdanovich harassed by Hero. Good defense by Tyler. Dropped off to Wes Matthews. Oh, my. Jaquez goes flipping over Matthews inside. Looks like both players will be okay. Looks like Hawkeyes is okay. Could have been bad, man. That could have been bad. Avoided serious injury there. Thank goodness. The Bucks say it's a left calf strain for Giannis. So at least the initial diagnosis is nothing crazy serious, which is good news. 85-83. As Wes Mass West Matthews makes the first. Second free throw for Wes is good. One point game. Delon Wright brings it up for Miami. Wright, top of the key. Gets it to Hero. Hero gets a screen from Bam. Hero pressure. Drives left. Step back. Deep two. Can't get it to go. Good look for Hero. Not a high efficient shot, though. Corner three for Buffkin. Can't fall. Good board from Hawkes there to seal it out. Hero has it right wing. Gets it to Bam inside. Facing up on Fernando. Fernando defending. Bam jab step. Traveled. Jesus Christ, Bam. Fuck does that happen, dude? Four fifty people watching. If you haven't already, hit that sub button. Bob Terry Rozier is not playing. Hate to break it to you, kid. Buffkin over to Bogdanovich. The sad part is, is that you're tied here, and Bogdanovich hasn't done anything in this game. Buffkin driving on Highsmith. Good hang. Bam rejects it out of bounds. It will stay with Atlanta. Seven seconds on the shot clock for Atlanta. Buffkin inbounding. Gets it to Fernando, who's followed by Bam. I mean, Bam has not played good today. He hasn't. Bam has 10 points, five assists. He does have three steals. Maybe maybe I'm just over-exaggerating that last turnover. But first chance to take the the first the chance to take a lead for Atlanta for the first time in this half. Fernando knots it up at 85. What's up, Matt? Fernando does it. 86-85 lead. The game Miami needs to win. If this game's lost, it, it just might be over. Hero drive out to Highsmith. Open left wing three. Big time answer from Haywood Highsmith. And the Heat go back up by two. Good dribble drive by Hero to draw a crowd. Buffkin out to Wes Matthews. Matthews back to Buffkin. Buffkin. Mid-range pull-up shot. Gets it to go. Eighty-eight all. You want the heat to win? Hit that sub button. Come on, folks. Highsmith driving to the corner. Delon Wright pump fake. Back to Highsmith. Centers it over to Hero. Hero pick and roll with Bam. Hero drives right. Three on the move. Oh, Tyler Hero! is unconscious tonight. 29 points for Tyler Hero. Almost forcing a turnover the other way. That is a turnover. Oh, they're going to say it stays with Atlanta. I thought that was off Bogdanovich's knee. Spo is asking to see if it was off Atlanta to see if they could challenge it.
and the Heat will challenge. Let me see the replay again. Yeah, that's I think that's off that's off Bogdanovich. That's off Bogdanovich. Everyone spam your 14s though right now. Tyler Hero has been sensational tonight. 29 points, the highest score in this ball game. 12 of 18 from the field, so doing it very efficiently. 4 of 9 from 3, 3 assists, 2 boards. What a game from Tyler Hero. Mr. Geo, Reaper, Juggalotus, Manny, Bob, Hot Dog, Benign, Riley Shea, Scenes. What a game for Tyler Hero. Miami, Ultra, AS, DJ Frankie, Melvin, Ked, Big 14, if you know, Big 14. Let's go, baby, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ron Baker, Thundercats, spam those 14s, folks, spam them, spam them. I guess we'll tell you about Prize Picks one last time today. Shout out to Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app for sponsoring today's show. And I couldn't be happier because my Prize Picks already connected. My three player entry was 10 to win 50, is already done. I took the more than on Jovic, seven and a half points. He has 18. Bang. I took the more than on Garrison Matthew, six and a half points. He's got 11. Bang. And I took that more than on DeJounte Murray, 35 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. And he's got. Um, he's got 16 points, 12 assists, and 8 rebounds. That's 36. Bang. So I win 50 bucks on a $10 entry. Let's ride, folks. You guys can do the same thing by going to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and using code CLNS to create an account and get a first deposit match up to $100. Or just download the app in your local app store and use code CLNS to get a first deposit match up to $100. Biggest action in the sports world happens in April. Playoffs in hockey, NBA, MLB's getting underway. Get started with the number one daily fantasy sports app today, Prize Picks. Pick more, pick less. That easy. <laughs> Bang job for me, baby. It's always nice to get that out of the way early in the fourth quarter, so I have nothing to root for. My Prize Picks already hits, which means I don't care the rest of the game as long as Miami wins. It's all the matters. All that matters. All that matters is that you're subscribed. Over 500 people watching. If you're a Heat fan, I don't know why you wouldn't be subscribed. I go live for every single Miami Heat basketball game. I also put videos in between. We'll be your number one spot for Heat content and coverage in the postseason, offseason, next year, everything you need. Successful challenge from Spo, so we'll have another one, and it's Heat basketball. Highsmith picks up his dribble at the free throw line and turns it over. Jesus Christ, Highsmith. 14th turnover of the game for Miami. I'd really think about taking Haywood out and putting Jimmy back in soon. Jimmy and Jovic got to check back in soon. Under eight to go. DeJounte Murray back in for the Hawks. He has it as the Heat go to his zone. Garrison Matthews on the right wing. Swings it back around to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich back to Murray. Murray drives out to Bogey for three. Too strong. Rebound Tyler Hero. Hero will bring it up now for Miami. Met by Murray. Hero drives, gets a step, stripped by Wes Matthews. The Hawks have numbers. Bad spacing by Atlanta, and it ultimately bails them out as they get fouled. Murray's going to go to the line for two. First really miscue of the game from Tyler, getting stripped there by DeAndre Hunter. Come on, folks, if you haven't already, hit that sub button. Get to 9500 right now. The Bucks are going to beat the Celtics today, which will only strengthen their chances of being the two seed, which is important for Miami because if the Heat do end up in the seventh spot and win that first play-in game, they will play Milwaukee in the first round yet again in the 2-7, 
And then that brings into play the Giannis injury, who left today's game with a calf strain. Murray makes both free throws. It's a one-point game, folks, 91-90. Seven minutes to go. Hero, Butler in. It's Hero, Butler, Bam, DeLon Wright, and Highsmith. Wonder when Jovic checks back in. Bam, driving on Capella to the rim, loses it, turnover. Bam has done nothing in the second half. It's actually been embarrassing. It's actually been embarrassing. Fifth turnover of the quarter for Miami. Can't do shit about against Capella and Bruno Fernando. Murray, top of the key. Probing, met by Highsmith. Driving on Haywood, gets to his right hand, layup good. Hawks back out in front. I mean, that was good defense by Highsmith. It doesn't matter. 20 points, 12 assists, 8 rebounds for Murray. Might have a triple-double. Hero, deep three. That one can't fall. Hawks chance to extend their one-point lead. Murray, guarded by Butler. To Bogdanovich, Bogdanovich to Hunter. Right wing three for DeAndre, too strong. Hero tracks down the board. Spo asking him to push. Hero will push. Tyler, slowing, swings it. Highsmith in the corner. Now to right. I wouldn't have hated if Highsmith took that on no hesitation. DeLon right now, back to Highsmith. One more to Hero. He's wide open in the corner. Instead, Highsmith turns it over. But he gets it back. Now to Butler, corner three. Jimmy's three. Good! Chaos there for Miami results in a triple to go up by two with under six to go. I don't know what Highsmith was thinking. though. We had Tyler Hero wide open from three in the corner. Jimmy with 18 on the ball game. Ball's in the hunter. Layup. Smoked it. Bam with the board. All right. Heat back up by two. Can they close this out? Hero will quickly drive up and call a timeout to talk things over with Eric Spolstra. 620 people watching. Let's get to 9,500 subscribers. Next, if we get to 9,500 today, I'm taking a shot at tequila. 40 people I guarantee are out there that aren't subscribed. Out of the 640 people watching, there's 40 people not subscribed. Like I said, we're live for every Miami Heat basketball game. We will be live for the postseason, the play-in. We will have it all for the Miami Heat. Join the channel today by hitting that red sub button and joining us on this postseason run. Come on, folks, hit that sub button. There's two subscribers. Let's get more. Join the channel. We're also in sub-only mode, so if you want to partake in our chat and comment, you got to be subscribed. Jan Michael Cruz says, heat all the way. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I know, Jay the Fox. That means if you want the sixth seed, you're going to have to win out and hope that the Pacers lose out. That's why Sunday's game was so important, and what a fumble that was by Miami to lose that game. Not that they blew a lead. They actually came back. But I don't really want to hear anyone blame the refs either because the Heat shouldn't have fallen down by 22 if they wanted to win. Shouldn't have fell down by Hit that sub button if you haven't already, folks. I don't know what you're waiting for. Heat basketball up by two. There's two more subscribers. Let's go. Can't wait to play basketball on Monday in that league for the first time, man. I really am excited, man. And then Tuesday we'll probably have a heat playing game. The Heat led as much as 15 in this game. That lead was in the first half, 14 in the second half.
if we played the Magic in the first round, that'd actually be ideal. I think we'd beat the Magic in five or six games. I got That's the problem with Miami, man. Like, they piss me off, and I watch them in these games, and they aggravate me, but then I just can't fathom them. I can't fathom them losing to the Magic, the Bucks. I, like, I can't see them losing in a seven-game series. I don't know if it's me being too optimistic or if it's just me not believing in the teams that we'd be playing, but, like, they don't scare me, man. Jimmy inside misses the layup. I mean, when Jimmy can't make layups, then maybe that's maybe I don't care anymore. Murray bringing it up. It's Jovic, Bam, Hero, Martin, and Butler to close. The starting lineup for tonight and the t lineup that played the best on Sunday against the Pacers and who I said should close and start games on yesterday's video if you watched. See how this five-man group does again. Butler driving, hanging, bumped, and one! Jimmy! Butler with a big time basket plus the foul, 96-92. Let's see if Jimmy can take us home. Hero, Jovic have led us to this point, and it's time for your max contract player to take us home. Butler now up to 20 points for the game. And he makes the free throw. So that's actually, I believe, 6-7 or six straight points for Jimmy? You know it, Tony. You know it, Tony. DeJounte, catch and shoot three. Good answer from the Hawks. Gets it back to a two-point game. Four and a half to go. Heat lead by two. Murray's had quite the game. Quite the game. Butler, guarded by DeAndre Hunter, gets a screen from Bam. Foul called on Clint Capella. Holding Bam as he went to go set the screen. Come on, folks. Let's get to 9,500 subscribers. I'm taking a shot if we get there. 650 people watching. I know 35 of you guys aren't subscribed. Live for every game. Hero, Jovic, Martin, Bam, and Jimmy are your five. Hero to inbound. Gets it into Butler. Butler will get a screen from Bam. Jimmy splits the double out to Martin. Martin baseline. Back out to Jimmy in the corner. Guard by Crutchy. Five on the shot clock. Jimmy drives into the corner. Wide open. Caleb Martin can't go, but that was good offense by Miami. They developed and got a wide open three. Murray driving on Hero. Step back three in the corner. No good. Good defense by Tyler. Jovic board. He'll push. Picks up his dribble and gets it over to Hero. Hero defended by Murray. Hero's got 29 in the ball game. Leading scorer for both squads. Hero driving right into the corner. Caleb will try another three. It's blocked. Come on, Caleb. Caleb Martin's 0 for 9 from the field today. Three and a half to go. Hunter driving on Martin. Drop off to Capella. It's one thing to struggle shooting, Caleb. It's one thing to get blown off the dribble by DeAndre Hunter. Wake the fuck up. Three minutes to go. And if you want to host a play-in game, you got to win out. Wake up, Tyler, or Caleb. Come on. Jimmy, over to Jovic. Jovic driving on Bogdanovich. Gets it to the corner for Martin. Back to Jimmy. Jimmy on the move to the rim. Fouled by Crutchy. And Jimmy Butler will go to the line for two with 3.05 to go in this ballgame. Both teams used the challenge earlier and were successful, so each team has one challenge left at max. Butler, 21 points on the game, 7 of 12 from the field, 8 assists as well from Jay Butt. Makes that first free throw, 98-97. Appreciate that, Rick D. You get the spirit, my friend. Thank you. You really don't understand the effort. You guys might think I just come out here and watch Heat basketball games for fun with you guys, which it's very fun to do it as Jimmy misses the second. Highsmith checked in. I think Martin's out. I think they took Hay or I think they took Caleb out. They did. Wow, Caleb benched with his poor play today. Bogdanovich has it. Gets it over to Hunter, guarded by Hero. Hunter driving, pump fake, pump fake, fade away. 
Doesn't go. Rebound gathered by Jovic. Good defense by Hero to hold his ground. Under three to go. Two and a half to be exact. Butler, left wing. Guarded by Crutchy. Over to Hero. Tyler. Guarded by Bogdanovich. Gets a screen from Bam. Blitzed on the screen. Hero picks up his dribble inside the Bam. Bam fades away. Can't get it to go. Bam has been non-existent in the second half, man. Non-existent. Hawks looking to take the lead. DeJounte Murray step back mid-range. Good. He is so good, man. 99-98, two minutes to go. He is so good. 25 for the game. Hero gets a screen from Jimmy. Wide open three for Tyler. Missed it. They're going to say it's Heat basketball, though. They're saying it was off Atlanta? I got to see a replay of this. Garabuto, please do not, if you're ahead, spoil it. It will stay with the Heat basketball. Butler inbounds it to Jovic. Nikola, top of the key, gets a screen from Bam. Jovic doubled, gets it inside the Highsmith. Highsmith layup, fouled. What a pass inside by Nikola Jovic to find Highsmith, who took the contact, and will go to the line to look to either tie the game and take the lead for Miami. I mean, Jovic just makes the right play every time. Two minutes in a must-win game, doesn't matter. Nikola can make it happen. Highsmith misses a free throw. Jesus. That was such a good pass from Nikola Jovic, man. Highsmith misses both. The Heat are going to lose this game. Murray has it, guarded by Highsmith. DeJounte Murray, step back, mid-range, it's deep. It's too strong. Jovic with the board, outlet to Tyler. Here comes Miami. Hero has it, crosses over, pull-up jumper at the free throw line. Can't go, offensive rebound by Highsmith. Back out to Hero, swung to Jimmy. Jimmy's going to call for isolation and now gets a screen from but or Highsmith. Jimmy drives. Bumped, foul. Jimmy's going to go to the line for two. Jimmy will now have a chance to put Miami up and get to 100 points. Hunter just bumped them. Yep, clear foul. Oh, my, folks. Oh, my. 26 subscribers away from 9,500. Come on, hit that sub button. Sub for Heat Dubs. If you're a Heat fan, hit that sub button for the good juju. It's a must-win game, and we're live for every game. Jimmy ties it at 99. Hit that sub button. You know, for someone who hates the Heat as much as AJ does, I'm surprised how much he watches our watch parties. Jimmy goes two for two, 199. One minute to go. Can you get a stop? That would be massive. Murray has it. Gets a screen. Bam picks him up defensively. It's swung over to Bogdanovich. Back to Murray. Bam defends. Now Hero hedges. They get to Bogdanovich. He drives to the rim. Hangs. Lobs. What a defensive play by Butler to help and get the steal. One point lead. 40 seconds to go. A bucket here goes a long way for Miami. Butler gets a screen from Jovic. Jimmy, guard by Bogdanovich. Top of the key. Jimmy, between the legs. Pump fake. Hangs. Fouled. He, Butler will go to the line. Bogdanovich bit on the pump fake. Drew the foul, did Butler. And he'll go to the line for two to try to extend this lead to three. Bogdanovich just tried to lob it to Capella. Butler read it like a book. Jimmy Butler looking to close this one out. Yeah, it's a foul on Bogdanovich. So Butler going the line for two. Come on, let's get to the 9-500, folks. It looks like the Hawks are going to challenge this call. I would expect this to stand, if I'm going to be honest. 
Let's go. If we get the 9,500 subscribers by the time play resumes, I'm taking a shot of tequila. There's a thousand people watching. Hit that sub button. Come on. Hit that sub button. 14 people need to hit that sub button. And that's a foul. That's a foul. That's a foul. It's an unsuccessful challenge, so the Heat will get two. If you are ahead in the chat, please do not comment anything and spoil it for other people slash me. If you continue, I will have to send you out of here because we don't want to ruin the experience for other people. Ten subscribers, nine, let's go. Let's go. Jimmy's 9 of 11 at the free throw line today. 24 points for the game. See if he can put Miami up by three, and which would go a long way for the Heat to get a must-win game on the road. This is the final road game of the regular season. They play in Miami against the Mavs and twice against the Raptors to finish out the year. Jimmy's first free throw, good. Onions from Jimmy, lead up to two, chance to make it a three-point game. As long as Jimmy makes this, the Heat will no worse than have a chance to win the game before regulation comes to a close, at worst. But he misses it. Oh, my goodness. Two-point lead, Atlanta has it. Three seconds differential between shot clock and game clock. Murray to the rim. Layup. Oh. Blocked by Bam, but they call a goaltend. It's tied at 101. They're going to say that ball was on its way down. See if Spo challenges it. He doesn't even have to challenge it. The officials are just going to naturally review it. So we're under review. Right now, it is a tied game at 101 with 16 seconds to go after Jimmy Butler missed the second free throw. Murray got a layup that was called the goaltend. 1,200 people watching. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. Sub for Heat Dubs, folk. Sub for Heat Dubs. I'm Nick Roloff. I go live for every single Heat game and put out videos in between games. We're the number one spot for postseason coverage. Subscribe to the channel. I think it's going to stand. I'm going to be honest. Which means there'll be Heat ball, 16 seconds to go, tied. Come on, folks. If you want the Heat to win, you got to subscribe. You got to subscribe. Stand as called. It's 101 to 101. Heat ball. 16 seconds to go. Ideally, Miami takes a shot pretty late in the shot clock. Let's go. We got to 9,500 to where it would either be a Heat win or overtime. Appreciate the 9,500 people subscribed. Do we have a buzzer beater on deck? That'd be pretty electric. Be pretty electric. I like I, whatever I want, whatever happens, I just hope Jimmy doesn't settle for a horrible step back jumper. Attack the rim, put the pressure on the refs to get call a foul if you get fouled. They also changed the timer, so it will be 17.1 seconds left in the game. I don't know if they're spoiling at this. I don't think they're spoiling. I honestly think they're just trolling. I think they're trolling. Harrison, Nikola Jovic is the best player on this team, and I don't think if there was one player I wouldn't trade, it's Nikola Jovic. Kids are stuck. Closing five for the this game is Haywood Highsmith, Bam, Jimmy, Tyler, and Jovic. 
1350 people watching. Hit the sub button, folks. If you want the Heat to win, subscribe to the channel. Butler will inbound. Come on, folks. This is, oh, Caleb Martin back into the game for Highsmith. Interesting, considering Caleb's 0 for 9 from the field has been horrible today. Butler gets it into Caleb. They're going to try to get this right back to Jimmy. They get it to him. 13 to go. Now 10. Jimmy's going to call for a screen. Relax, Caleb. Gets it. 5. Jimmy drives. Oh, my God, he's going to settle for a jumper. Gets it to Tyler. Tyler at the buzzer. No good. That was the worst fucking possession of all time. Embar that was embarrassing. Oh, wrong. End of fourth. We're going OT. That was the worst fucking possession of all time. What the fuck are we doing? Well, folks, we have five more minutes of basketball. Heat must win this game. Hawks, I guess they're fighting for playoff seeding. I mean, either they host the first play-in game or they have to go to Chicago. But either way, we got OT in the ATL. Who you got? Is Miami going to get their win on the road or is Atlanta going to win? MIA for the Heat, ATL for the Hawks. We're in sub-only mode. So in order to comment what you think, you have to be subscribed. Let me know in the comment section. MIA for the Heat, ATL for the Hawks. I don't know why Antonius wants Kevin Love in. He played six minutes tonight. He hasn't really done much. Tyler was not open. That was a bad shot. I mean, it was horrible spacing. Jimmy Butler picked up his dribble. All three guys were on the right side of the court where Jimmy went to. So when he passed it off to Tyler, there was no space for Tyler to operate. It, honestly, Jimmy needed to stay on the left side. What, don't call a screen. Just run ISO on DeAndre Hunter, and either take a step back on the left side or drive to the rim. Terrible space. AV says, who gets ball? It's a jump ball. You basically restart the game in overtime. And Tony says, "Put take Jovic out. Well, you clearly have not watched tonight's game. You want to take out Nikola Jovic, who has 18 points and has played phenomenal today, shooting four or five from three. He has six boards as well for Kevin Love, who has played six minutes. What are we doing? What are we doing? I need Bam to be more aggressive in overtime. He's only got 10 points on 4 or 6 shooting. This has not been a good game from Adabai. Not been a good game. Uh, not been a good game. What's also shambles mode of Nick Roloff, I have to go to the bathroom. So bad. And I was just really hoping Miami was going to win. We could sign off. I could go to the bathroom. But uh, that's not going to happen. But that, that's why you subscribe, because uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. AV says go to the bathroom. Uh, when overtime's about to start? What are you, nuts? What are you, nuts? The Cavs, I don't know why it's the Cavs. The Hawks win the tip, so they started off in OT. The Heat are 1-0 and in overtime this year. It's only the second time they've gone to overtime. Hawks 4-1. and DeJounte Murray opens up with a miss in overtime. Step back jumper doesn't go. Rebound Butler. All right, see if the Heat can dominate this overtime. Jimmy's got it, guarded by Bogdanovich. He's backing him down. Highsmith starting this overtime instead of Caleb Martin. Highsmith driving, kicks out to Bam. Bam, 18-foot jumper. Doesn't go. Rebound to Jante Murray. Team's down. Yeah. Hero guarding DeAndre Hunter on the left corner. Deep mid-range shot for Hunter. He's been unbelievably good in the second half. I think they said he's got 21 for the game. DeAndre Hunter's been great. Jovic, turnover. Well, this feels like it could go the other way and the heat unravel. Murray spinning on Hero. 
Driving now, good defense from Tyler initially. Spins once again, fade away, 15 feet good. DeJounte Murray up to 25 points. He's down by four. 3.30 to go. Butler gets a screen from Bam. Jimmy out to Highsmith. Highsmith, pump fake. Hand off to Jovich. Back out to Jimmy. Five on the shot clock. Jimmy, jab step. Jab step. Fires a three. I mean, uh, this team. This team is done. It's over. Oh, man, this feels like a dagger, Spo timeout. I've seen the story before. Murray driving out to Crutchy, now to Bogdanovich, back to Crutchy, one more to Hunter, another good pass inside the Capella, swung to Gre uh, Bogdanovich, who drives inside, back to Hunter, three from the right wing, can't go, rebound. Good job by Butler to get the board. It's going to be a jump ball. Who is it going to be between? Is it going to be Gretchen and Jimmy or Capella and Jimmy? I think it's going to be Gretchen. No, it's going to be Capella. Not good. Capella and Jimmy will jump. Come on. Jimmy won the tip. Never let it happen. Amazon Skabidi, shout out to you. Did you lie to me? Jovic, corner three. God! Take that, Antonius! Nikola Jovic is our best player. He's got 21 and five triples on the night. Bogdanovich gets it over to Murray. Guarded by Highsmith. Murray driving. Step back. Good defense. Haywood with the steal. Loose ball. And a foul on Atlanta. Haywood Highsmith forces the turnover and gets the ball back for Miami. Nikola Jovic is that guy. Type the fives. Type the fives. He is that dude. He's so good. Five of six from three today. 21 points. And then Locksmith with the clamps. Come on. Did that three from Nicola save the season? People are going to be asking that after the Heat win. Butler drives. Kicks it inside. Almost turns it over. Regains control. Five on the shot clock. Has it. Gets inside. Blocked by Bogdanovich. Jesus. Jimmy might be cooked, folks. He might be cooked. Bogdanovich drives, fouled. Bogdanovich going to go to the line for two. Jimmy might be cooked. I mean, spinning and getting blocked by Bogdanovich, he might be cooked. Might be cooked. I'm tweeting that. I don't give a fuck. How are you? He did a good job of getting position. Spinning inside, he had a step, but getting Bogdanovich recovering and blocking Butler, like that doesn't happen. Jimmy might be cooked. I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Like that. That was the first time that I've looked at Jimmy Butler and said he might not have it. To get a great spin move inside and to be blocked by behind by Bogdanovich, like come on, man. Bogdanovich makes the free throw to put Atlanta back up by two. 106, 104, 146. Bogdanovich makes the second. Three point deficit for Miami. Minute 46 to go. Jimmy will bring it up for Miami. Butler picks up his dribble, swings it over to Highsmith. Highsmith. Gets it to Bam, left wing. Show me something, Bam. Bam, working on Capella, double team to Highsmith. 
One more to Jovic. Right wing three for Nikola. Comes up short. Murray with the board. Chance to put a dagger in us here. Minute to go. Need a stop. Hunter doubled. Out to Bagdanovich. Bagdanovich driving. Back to Hunter. Corner three. No good. Rebound by Jovic. Under a minute to go. Heat down three with ball. Jovic brings it up. Behind the back. Drives. Out to Highsmith. Left wing three. We're tied! What a shot by A1 Highsmith! 40 seconds to go! All created by Nikola Jovic. Dribble drive! Murray drives on Highsmith. Spinning. Fading away. Doesn't get it to go! Board to Highsmith. There's a six-second differential between shot clock and game clock. Butler has it. Please, for the love of God, get a good shot. Don't settle for some bullshit. Seven-second differential. Fifteen to go. Come on, Miami. Come on. Jimmy, you need to win this game. Gets the screen from Bam. Four on the shot clock. Over to Tyler. Tur Tyler, tur or turnover by Jimmy. What the fuck is Jimmy doing? Murray, driving. Step back three to put a dagger in the season. Doesn't go, and we're going to overtime part two. We're going to overtime part two. Stop giving it to Jimmy. Please, I'm, be I'm begging you. Stop. We're going to second OT. We're going to second OT. I guess it's just normal OT again. I'm done. Jimmy's, Jimmy's killing me. He's killing me. He's killing me, folks. Another five minutes on the clock. Continue to hit that sub button. Bam has been quiet. Jimmy has been very up and down today. It's been, it's been brutal, man. It's been brutal. If you haven't already, hit that sub button. We're trying to get to 10,000 before the playoffs begin for Miami. We picked up over 100 subscribers today, I believe. If we get to 9, 600, I'll take another shot of tequila. Join the channel. Chloe says, stop saying Jimmy is trash. Well, he's been horrible tonight in clutch moments. People forget if he just makes two free throws, the Heat would have been up three with 20 seconds rather than up two. And then the goaltend tied the game up, and then we didn't get a bad shot because Jimmy had a horrible possession. I, 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 I'm telling you, I don't know what to tell you. Like, uh, That's why you should subscribe to the channel too. I put out daily content around the Heat, and I – Tell you how it is. I'm live for every game, and I'm not going to sugarcoat things. If someone's playing bad, I'll call them out. If I'm concerned about how someone's playing, call them out. I'm concerned with Jimmy Butler continuing to put us in bad situations offensively late in games by waiting till six seconds on the shot clock and then not getting a good open look and either taking a horrible shot or passing it to someone else with one second left and it just being terrible. Antonio says it's not our offense, it's our defense. Antonio is wrong. The Heat have played 43 minutes today, and they've allowed 107 points. Or excuse me, 53 minutes today. That's good. De that's good defense, man. Like, that's good defense. But you scoring less than 50 points in the last two quarters plus overtime, that can't happen. They scored 21-21 and then six. That's a joke. The Heat win the tip. To start overtime, it's Jovic, Bam, Tyler, Jimmy, and I think Highsmith again. Yep, it is Highsmith. Double OT, folks. Let's go. Bam, free throw line, jumper, left it short. I mean, it would be nice to get anything from Adebayo offensively today. It would be nice. It's been, he's done nothing. LGS, I agree. 
Bogdanovich gets a screen from Hunter. Now Jimmy defending. Gets it over to Hunter, guarded by Hero. They've targeted this matchup quite a bit today. Hunter, between the legs, driving left on Hero. Fouled by Highsmith, reaching in. It's going to be two free throws for DeAndre Hunter. I agree. I think Hero has to be the main initiator of the offense for Miami. I think I actually called that foul on Hero bumping. I'm not going to say Jovic and Tyler should be the only one shooting, but I actually do think the Hero and Jovic should be running a lot more two-man actions together. Because if you get Jovic in the pick and pop with Hero, that's elite shooting. Or if they play drop, Hero pull up jumper. Or if quick slip to Jovic, he's so good at playmaking, he can kick it out. They actually call it on the side out, so no free throws for Atlanta. Murray has it. Gets a screen from Capella. Five on the shot clock. Swings it to Hunter. Hunter drives inside. Good defense by Butler. A spin. Nothing there. Shot clock violation. A great defensive set by Miami. Gets a stop there. Good defense by the Heat. 4.05 to go in double OT. Yes, Antonius, I always say defense leads to offense for Miami, but the defense has been good for the Heat today. They just can't fucking score in the second half. Hero drives left, pull up free throw line, jumper, foul, and left it short. Murray with the board. Here comes the Hawks. This offense for Miami in the last 50, er, 30 minutes has been a joke. Hunter drives on Hero, hangs, off glass, no good. That's offensive goaltending. Not called, and Hero comes away with the board, though. Three and a half to go. Hero has it. Gets it over to Butler, who's guarded by Crutchy. Jimmy, working isolation. Jimmy, between the legs. Gets to the right elbow, kicks it to Jovic. Corner three for Nikola. Can't go. Good luck. Not able to knock it down. Might be right, that kid. Yeah, yo. Bogdanovich isolating on Hero. Right corner. Drives baseline. Hangs. Floater. No good. Rebound by... What's the call? What's the call, folks? Oh, it's a foul on Atlanta. They say Capella fouled on the rebound attempt. Let's go. Let's go. I agree, Jordan. I'm living with a Nikola Jovic open three. Oh, they changed the call. Now it's Hawks ball. Capella just goes right over the back of Bam. How is that a foul on us? Bogdanovich, guarded by Highsmith, launches a deep three. No good. I mean, the defense for Miami has been great. I don't know what to tell you. The Hawks can't score, but the bad news is Miami can't score either. Each team has scored six points in overtime. We have now played seven and a half minutes. Six points each. Hero drives, takes the bump, fades away, fouled, and Hero is going to earn himself a trip to the charity line to try to break this tie and put Miami in front. 2.25 to go. The Heat are 13 of 19 from the line tonight as a team. The Hawks are 11 of 14. Come on, Tyler. At least the Heat did a good job there, specifically Hero, of getting downhill. Hero's free throw. Good. Heat out in front. First points of the second overtime. 108 to 107. Come on, let's get 38 more subscribers. Let's get to 9,600 today. Hero makes both, 109-107. Hero up to 31 points, the leading scorer for Miami, and I believe the game is well. I think DeJounte still has it, 29. Almost two minutes to go. Hero does a great job of denying Murray, but they call a foul on Hero, so they grab them a little bit. There you go, 34 away. Let's continue to hit that sub button. I'm live for every single Heat basketball game. Let's go. Let's go. Diehard Heat fan since I started watching the NBA, folks. Go Heat. Sideline in. Inbounded to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich over to Murray. 
Now Hero defending. Murray deep three. No good. Rebound Jovic. Nikola Jovic might finish with a 20-point double-double. I think he's got like eight boards. Chance to take a two-possession lead if you're Miami. The defense has been spectacular in overtime. Six points in damn near eight minutes. Hero gets a step. Floater is good! Hero with back-to-back -back scores. Heat lead by four. The Hawks turn it over. Oh, my. They inbound it to no one. It's Heat Ball with a minute 49 to go, up four. Tyler Hero saying, I am your hero. Chance to really put a dagger in this one with a bucket. Come on, Tyler. Jovic sets him a screen. I like this action. Hero to Highsmith. Baseline drive. Floater. God! Heat up six. Highsmith up to 11. Heroes accounted for all six points in overtime for Miami. Murray to Hunter, his floater. Good. Answer for the Hawks. 109, 113, 120 to go. I know scoring hasn't been easy, but if you continue to hit your shots, you can really close this out. Hero and Jovic pick and roll. I love this, love this, love this. Hero has it. To Bam now. Bam, free throw line to Jovic. Jovic, baseline drive, reverse layup. Is God! Nikola Jovic! 23 points. Jovic and Hero taking us home. What a nice, nice, nice thing to see. Capella misses the layup. Butler board. Under a minute. Heat lead by six. The Heat look like they could pull this one out, folks. Timeout Spo with 47 seconds left. Heat up by six. If they score on this possession, it will be night, night, night. Spam your 14s for Tyler Hero. He has accounted for six of the eight points for Miami in overtime with two buckets and an assist. And then his offensive firepower caused two defenders to fly at him, which allowed a drop off to Bam, which allowed a pass to Jovic, who hit the reverse layup to put Miami back up by six. So in reality... Hero has really caused all eight points for Miami. Not directly associated with all eight, but hockey assist. Spam your 14, Tyler Hero, in his third game back from injury, has not skipped a beat. 17 points, 21 points, and then now 33. Hero has played 47 minutes tonight. So has Bam. Jimmy has played 42, and then Jovic fourth on the list with 39. And with how well Jovic played in the fourth quarter and third quarter on Sunday against the Pacers, and then fourth quarter and overtime of today's game, I think Jovic might be in the closing lineup right now. Like, it's, it's ridiculous to say, but I think he is. I think he is. We're also just 29 subscribers away from 9,600. Hit that sub button if you love the Miami Heat, want the Heat to win, and advance far into the playoffs. Hero to inbound. A bucket here is a dagger. It is. A score here is a dagger because the Hawks aren't scoring eight points or more in the final 40 seconds. They aren't. They could score six, though. Hero to inbound. Gets it to Bam. Bam back to Tyler. 10 on the shot clock. Murray defending Hero. Jovic will set him a screen. 7 on the shot clock. Hero has room. Dagger 3 on the move. Too strong. But Jovic had the rebound and tried to tip it out to Highsmith. But Highsmith vacated the area, so it goes out of bounds. Man, that if Jovic just grabbed the board, that would have been massive. But he tried to tip it out for an open 3. Hawks will call timeout. 34 seconds to go. Miami leads by six. We're 24 subscribers away from 9,600. Hit that sub button live for every heat game. Come on, folks. I'm taking a shot of tequila if we get to that 9,600 mark. I agree, the kid, Yayo. Jovic and Hero have been your two best players in overtime. You could argue the best two players in the fourth quarter as well. Let's go. Got to close it out, though. Got to close it out. 
Got to close it out. Man, if we get to 9,600 today, it might be possible to get to 10,000 before the postseason. It might be possible. Hi, Hero's your leading scorer in the game with 33. Murray with 29. Jimmy with 25. And how about Nikola Jovic with 23? Jovic has 23 points, 8 rebounds, 8 of 12 from the field, and 5 of 8 from 3. He's been, oh, he's been unbelievable. He's been unbelievable. 22 subscribers away from 9,600. Come on. This is a career high in minutes for Hero, Bam, and Jovic tonight. Look at them. Look at them go. Javier says, really loud, let's go heat chance at the Hawks arena. I love let's allow G, baby. Let's fucking go. I really hope that this doesn't go to another overtime because we do play another game tomorrow. It's probably already bad that we've gone to a second overtime. All right, up by six, Hawks inbounding. They look to get it to Bogdanovich, they do. Pump fake, three, he's open, he misses. Rebound Hunter, out to Murray, three. In and out, rebound, heat, that will do it, folks. I don't even think the Hawks will foul. Jimmy crosses half court, gets it up to Bam. Murray won't foul, they get it to Highsmith, who slams it home, and that is the exclamation point on this one. It wasn't easy, it wasn't pretty, but Miami goes on the road in the final road game of the season, at least in the regular season, and defeats the Atlanta Hawks 117 to 111. The Heat win. Oh my, it was not easy, but the Heat get the job done. Heat are now 44 and 35, nine games above 500. They have never been 10 games above 500, but the Heat outlast the Hawks. Let's go. Let's go. Spam your W's, folks. Spam your W's. What a massive win for Miami. They needed to have it in order to keep pace to be the seventh seed to host the first play-in game slash keep the sixth seed hopes alive, and they, had, they got it. Tony, the sixth beast. Jose, PV, Scenes, Juan, Tashani, Tyman, Jordan, Zamir, Gaithan, Tashani, Ultra, Davillion, Ultra, Cheers. Let's go. Aiden Law, GR, Benign, spam those W's. If you're one of those people that are co going to complain about a win, you can leave the chat already. I don't give a fuck. A Heat wins, a Heat win. I do not care. Let's go. Let's go. It wasn't easy, but a hard-fought road win. Let's go. Shout out to Jovic. Shout out to Hero. Those two got it done for Miami. Those two got it done for Miami. Let's go. Can we get to 9,600 subscribers? We're 14 away. There's still 700 people watching. I'll take a shot at Tequila if we get to 9,600. Come on. It wasn't the prettiest second half, but the Miami found a way. They found a way. 12 away. Come on, I'll take a shot before we head out of here. Dude, I got to go to the bathroom bad. Mm, now only 13 subscribers. Exactly, Jordan. Is, is it nice to beat people by 15, 20? Sure. Well, any win's a good win. And the Heat covered. The Heat were only one and a half point favorites today. They covered. That's, that's what matters. Antonius says, shout out to me. Appreciate that. Yes, Samir. Uh, that's right, PV. I am the future of Miami. I am the future. All right, I have to go to the bathroom bad.
So I'm going to sign off here. I was battling some uh, bathroom issues that entire overtime, but I had the guts to finish the job, just like Tyler Hero and Nikola Jovic did. Appreciate the 15,000 people that tuned in today. I appreciate the over 100 people that subscribed. We're not stopping here. We're live again tomorrow night against the Dallas Mavericks. We'll be live on Friday against the Raptors, live on Sunday against the Raptors, and we'll be live next week for the play-in slash playoffs getting underway for our Miami Heat. Appreciate it, everyone. Hopefully I see a lot of you guys tomorrow night against the Mavericks. Go Heat. Good win. And the hope for the sixth seed is technically still alive, even though you need to go 3-0 and the Pacers need to go 0-2. Shout out to the rest of y'all.